What's up guys, this is your favorite fanfic YouTuber, the fanfic majesty, and welcome to another amazing video. You can follow me on Patreon for exclusive stories. 9RP251, Gold Underground Previous Chapter Next Chapter Advertisement They originally thought that Levi came here to explain something to them, but what they never expected was that Levi suddenly stayed where he was. Under such circumstances, each of them naturally felt a little dumbfounded. Their eyes fell on Levi, and they were not sure what was going on with Levi. But at this moment, they suddenly heard a series of rumbling sounds under their feet. Just when the people around them felt a little confused, they suddenly discovered that there was a soil bag arching up on the ground. The next moment Levi opened his eyes again. I saw him suddenly moving his arm away, followed by an invisible force emanating from his body, pushing everyone around him away. At this moment, a huge bead made of soil actually drilled out of the ground, come out. Advertisement This is a huge circular pillar, which extends towards the sky into the clouds. Under such circumstances, everyone around him felt a little dumbfounded at this time. Each of them set their eyes on this huge pillar, and from the expressions on their faces, it could be seen that each of them felt very strange in their hearts. Time passed little by little, and in the following period, for everyone present, of course they were a little confused about what was going on. But at this moment, the eyes of everyone present fell on Levi, and they immediately realized that if nothing else happened, they must have encountered a lot of trouble this time. So of course everyone around felt a panic, but just after this moment, they came to their senses again, and then smiled and said to everyone around them, Don't panic, everyone. Advertisement In fact, this is nothing at all. I know that every one of you is very surprised now, but in fact, behind this matter, this is just my plan to find some money to exchange things with you. As Levi spoke, the huge pillar beside him also stopped at this time. At the same time, Levi stretched out his hand and grabbed the largest stone from it. At that time, it was larger than a human head, and following the crowd, it was discovered that the stone fell into Levi's hands, and Levi's eyes fell on it. After a moment, the black layer on the surface of the stone the covering has been completely shattered and scattered. It was under such circumstances that Levi's eyes fell on them. Advertisement He shook the huge stone in his hand, and after seeing the strange eyes of everyone around him, he realized that it turned out to be a piece of gold. Levi placed the piece of gold on the ground, then looked at the people in front of him and asked, Do you have enough food here? I need a lot of food. These ten pieces of gold are used to buy food from you. Levi couldn't help but laugh after saying this. He placed the piece of gold on the ground and placed it in front of everyone, and everyone in the world was shocked by Levi. They never thought that Levi would be so generous, and under such circumstances, the expressions on each of their faces became a little weird. 252. Preparing food previous chapter next chapter advertisement. But no matter what, this is certainly a good thing for them. The value of Levi's giving such a large piece of gold is of course countless. However, under such circumstances, these people present are just contributing a little food. For them, of course, it's all about making money and not losing money. As for Levi, this kind of transaction is nothing, because Levi knows very well that there is a lot of gold underground in this world, but there is no way to dig that place with human ability. Under such circumstances, Levi had just pulled out a large amount of soil from the ground in a split second, and pulled all the gold out of the ground. Advertisement So instead of saying that Levi gave his gold to these villagers, it is better to say that Levi picked up a piece of gold from the ground and gave it to these villagers, and Levi himself did nothing except a little effort at that time. Of course, the villagers were all happy after getting the gold, and they were quickly ready. Naturally, they quickly prepared some food for Levi. The whole process took less than an hour. After preparing all the food, they gave Levi 2000 jiwe. At this time, food for an entire army was prepared. Looking at the large cart of grain in front of him, Levi took a breath. It seemed that if he at least handed the grain to the little girl and let her maintain her life, there should be no problem. So under such circumstances, Levi followed closely and took all the food back in a leisurely manner. Advertisement He returned to the village with this large amount of food. Under such circumstances, Robin on the other side ran over immediately after building Levi. You're finally back. Why have you been away for such a long time? I thought you wouldn't come back. He showed a little nervous expression when he said this, and under such circumstances, Levi was stunned for a moment when he saw this scene. Looking at Robin's aggrieved look, Levi sighed helplessly, because he also looked at the golden lion at this time, and after he saw the situation on the golden lion's side clearly, he also knew why does Robin look so aggrieved. Asking for flowers. Advertisement because at this time, the girl was pinned to the ground by Uncle Golden Lion and struggled desperately, but looking at him, no matter how hard she struggled, she could not break free from Golden Lion's hand. It is precisely because of this, or perhaps because it has been too long, that he now looks very weak, and his breathing has become rapid. This is obviously a bad symbol, so of course Robin's mood under such circumstances I feel very nervous. It was under such circumstances that he finally panicked after seeing Levi come back, at the same time, Levi naturally sighed helplessly. He first let the golden lion get up from the ground, let go of the girl, followed closely by the girl, and unexpectedly got up again at this time, and was about to pounce on the golden lion. However, his movements were already very slow, the golden lion immediately dodged the girl's attack. He wanted to continue to fight back, but was stopped by Levi. 253. The girl's true face previous chapter next chapter. Advertisement Levi's orders are of course very easy to follow at the golden lion, and the girl on the other side got up again. It looked like she was about to launch an attack at the golden lion, but Levi was there. At this time, 
He stretched out his hand to stop her. The girl was still desperately trying to rush towards Levi, but at this moment, Levi suddenly pulled the large cart of food over and said, Chi Lu Chi, and then took a piece of barbecue from the car and stuffed it into it, into the girl's mouth. At this moment, the girl was obviously stunned for a moment. After a moment, he realized that the thing stuffed into his mouth was naturally food, and he immediately started chewing it. It was precisely because of this that during the next period of time, the girl followed him and discovered that the large cart of food was so delicious, so he immediately pounced on that cart at this time. Advertisement looking at the girl's devouring look, Levi couldn't help but shrink his neck. This look of eating like a starving ghost is not good looking no matter how you look at it, but it can also be seen from here that the girl must be extremely hungry. Thinking of this, Levi sighed helplessly, but no matter what, although this matter was full of weirdness, he still couldn't figure out the truth of the matter. In this case, it is better to wait until this matter is over and then restore the truth of the matter. Under such circumstances, Levi naturally understood his thoughts very quickly. On the other hand, under the girl's devouring, the food in the car was almost eaten quickly. During the next period of time, Levi's eyes fell on the girl. After eating her stomach, Levi unexpectedly lie down directly. Advertisement then he burped contentedly, and then he closed his eyes and fell into a deep sleep. I don't know if he was too tired, so the way he fell asleep gave people a very sweet feeling, feel. However, after he fell asleep, and a short while later, the girl's body slowly shrank. Then in Levi's strange eyes, he realized that the girl was really it's a girl. In other words, it was a girl with a very slim and graceful figure, who was completely different from the muscular monster before. Coupled with his already very sweet face, it gave people a cute feeling. Levi's eyes fell on the girl, and he couldn't help but be stunned for a moment. Although there was a beautiful woman like Robin beside him, it proved that the style between the girl and Robin very different. Advertisement if Robin has the mature sister style, then the girly look is sweet and cute. It's just that no matter how he looks, Levi can't tell from this girl that he turned out to be such a terrifying monster just now. Is it really that beautiful? Then just look at it for a while. Realizing that Levi's eyes had been wandering around the girl, Robin's voice suddenly rang at this time, which stunned Levi for a moment, and then she realized how stupid what she was doing now was, and she quickly asked after thinking about it, I coughed a few times. 254. Blackhorn's previous chapter next chapter advertisement. It is a very idiotic thing for me to stare at another woman in front of a woman, even if I have no interaction with this woman, let alone Levi and Robin before. There was also a short period of ambiguity. So under such circumstances, Levi coughed twice quickly, turned back, and his eyes fell on Robin. I was just thinking about his identity. Didn't you notice that he actually has a pair of horns on his head? This is something no normal person would have. Advertisement well, the light fell on the girl, and in the same way, he looked exactly like Levi said 21, and immediately discovered that there was a pair of black horns on the top of the girl's head. There is obviously something unusual about this, and under such circumstances, Robin naturally fell into deep thought, but after thinking about it, he never thought that there is any race in the world with a president at the head, horned. This is a magical world. Although the human race is the absolutely dominant race in this world, there are always some other strange races. Among these strange races, there are also some races, although they are very different from the human race. Like, but there are some differences. These races include the longhand race with two elbow joints, as well as some similar weird races, and even the fishman race in the deep sea. Advertisement The existence of these races makes up this colorful world, and it is under such circumstances that people can often realize that there are so many people in this world who are somewhat different from themselves, but who still belong to their compatriots. But among these many races, there seemed to be no race with horns on their heads. After thinking of this, he naturally became a little confused. Could it be that this girl was? Demon fruit power? Generally speaking, demon fruit power, especially zones ability users, after taking devil fruit, unless they are deliberately controlled, they will more or less leave some devil fruit characteristics on themselves. But no matter what the matter is, since the matter has come to this point, and the girl seems to have no problem with her health, it is better to wait until the girl wakes up and ask directly. They're guessing here. Advertisement thinking of this, Levi also nodded naturally. He decided to take the girl to a safer place first, and then wait until the girl woke up before asking the girl clearly. Thinking of this, he was ready to 833 step forward to take her. The girl was picked up. But just when he was about to take action, he suddenly discovered that there were many hands growing on the ground. These hands actually lifted the girl up and started to send her away. This sudden scene naturally startled Levi. He immediately turned around to look at Robin, only to find that Robin turned his head away and was not willing to look at him at all. After thinking about this, he also felt in his heart tune and couldn't help but laugh. If nothing else, looking at Robin's behavior, he should be a little jealous of what he just did. 255. The girl wakes up previous chapter next chapter advertisement. But anyway, things have come to this point, so of course Levi won't say anything more. With Robin's help, the girl was moved to a safer place and lay on a bed in a room, come down. Both Levi and Robin were a little sleepy, so they each got a small bed next to them and fell asleep. Only the golden lion stood at the door and watched blankly. Advertisement Levi's order to the golden lion is that if someone comes to him, he must not let the other party get close. However, if the other party comes close without any hostility, then the golden lion will give Levi to Han Shin. If the other party comes first with a hug, then golden lion can do it directly. Under such circumstances, golden lion could of course easily complete such a task, 
and Levi naturally lay on the bed and slept happily, but after an unknown period of time, he suddenly heard a sound screaming. Levi suddenly woke up from the bed. He climbed up and looked at the scene in front of him. Only then did he realize that since the girl lying on the bed had woken up, and looking at him, she felt very nervous now. It also made Levi feel a little confused, but at this moment, the girl's eyes also fell on Levi. He stared at Levi, then showed a shocked expression, and then asked Levi, What on earth did you do? Advertisement. Seeing this scene and hearing the girl's words, Levi suddenly understood. It proved that the girl suddenly became much larger before, and then she wanted to fight with him. Under such circumstances, the clothes on her body would not follow her body shape. It grew bigger together, so many places were broken. Even from Levi's angle, he could clearly see the girl, a place that no one should normally see. Yu Hang was naturally stunned for a moment when he thought of this. Only then did he realize that after he settled the girl yesterday, he forgot to put him into new clothes. However, this was not a problem in itself, because the girl's clothes were not too tattered yesterday, but there are cracks in many places. Although these clothes are rotten, they can still cover the private parts of the girl's body. Only a large area of snow white skin can be seen, but from the beginning to the end, the alienation has never seen anything that shouldn't be seen. Thing. Advertisement but now that the girl woke up, she struggled wildly again, and then she almost twisted all the clothes on her body and, all fell down. Thinking of this, Levi scratched his head in embarrassment, and then his eyes fell on the girl, but after taking a look, he was stunned. The figure of the girl in front of me is very graceful. There is no fat on her body, Wang Wang Zhao, and she looks very well proportioned and strong. More importantly, her large areas of exposed snow white skin are even a little dazzling. Coupled with the girl's beautiful face, it makes people's hearts beat faster. It is precisely because of this that Levi naturally felt a little embarrassed during the next period of time. He coughed twice quickly and then said to the girl. I'm really sorry, I didn't mean it. 256. I want to thank you previous chapter next chapter. Advertisement but at this moment, Robin on the side had already woken up. He was obviously awakened by the conversation between Levi and the girl, so he only heard the movement here. He also rubbed his eyes and looked at the middleman here. It can be seen from the expression on his face that he is now very confused about what is happening here, and he is even a little confused about what is going on here. Advertisement it was under such circumstances that his eyes fell on everyone. When Levi heard that Robin was awake, he quickly withdrew his gaze after coming over. Then he coughed twice and said to Robin next to him. He is awake now, so you should take care of him next. After all, you two are girls, so it should be easier for you two to get along with each other, but I always have some inconveniences. The girl on the other side was also struggling to get up, but he just made a move and fell down all of a sudden. Seeing this scene, Levi certainly understood that the girl should have struggled too much yesterday if nothing else happened. For a long time, too much energy was consumed. After all, the power of the golden lion is not something that normal people can resist. He was once the most powerful man in the world. Although his combat experience has disappeared because of his soul, his power star has not changed. Weak. Under such circumstances, Golden Lion pressed the girl to the ground with a full breath for a long time. Under such circumstances, the girl certainly expended a lot of strength. At this time, she should have a perfect match as normal. Advertisement under such circumstances, Levi's eyes fell on the girl, then turned around and walked towards the door. Then Robin on the other side could only sigh. However, he quickly found a girl's clothes in the village, and after helping the girl change into them, he called Levi into the room. After the girl put on clean clothes, her expression became much calmer. Under such circumstances, his eyes fell on Levi and then looked at the people in front of him, CBCD, who followed closely, and became some panicked. Who are you and why am I like this? After hearing what the girl said, Levi sighed helplessly, then scratched his head, and after a moment he said to the girl in front of him, what should I tell you? Advertisement, but no matter how I tell you, I think you should also know what are the things about you that usually make you crazy. In that case, can you explain it to me first? You mean I was fined again because I was hungry yesterday? I had always felt it before, and I wanted to control myself, but before I knew it, I fell asleep. I didn't expect that I would change when I woke up it's become like this. The girl was stunned for a moment after hearing this, and her eyes fell on the people in front of her. Thinking of this, Levi immediately told the girl what happened. After hearing this, the girl suddenly felt even more guilty. He had thought Levi was a bad person before, but he did not expect that he had only caused Levi to be harmed. But at this moment, he suddenly came to his senses. 257. Kaido's Daughter Previous Chapter Next Chapter Advertisement No, my fighting power when I'm in a mad state is terrifyingly ten times that of my normal state so it's not something that ordinary people can deal with at that time. You said yesterday that you arrested me easily. How did you do it? Who are you? After the girl heard what Levi described, she suddenly thought of this, and today she stared at Levi in front of her. Advertisement under such circumstances, Levi couldn't help but sigh helplessly after hearing what the girl described, and then scratched his head. His eyes fell on the girl, and he curled his lips at this moment. But he didn't know how to answer for a moment. In fact, the person who defeated the girl at that time was not his 20 golden lion, but if Levi were to take action, he wouldn't even have to move, and the girl wouldn't even move. No. It is precisely because of this that Levi did not answer the girl's question in the end, but immediately turned his attention to the golden lion and asked curiously. By the way, 
Who are you and why did you come to this place? It seems that you are definitely not an ordinary person. If that is the case, then why do you live in an ordinary village? After hearing this, the girl was obviously stunned for a moment, but after a moment, he suddenly raised his head again and hesitated for a while, and then finally made up his mind and said to Levi generally. Actually, I don't want to answer. This is a question, but since you asked it, I will tell you. Advertisement The girl immediately began to tell a story about him. It turned out that his name was Yamato, and another thing he told immediately made Levi's expression become weird. Yes, the identity of the girl in front of me turned out to be the daughter of four emperors Kaido not long ago, and she was her biological daughter. Under such circumstances, Levi was naturally a little dumbfounded after receiving the news. At the same time, Yamato also raised his head again to look at Levi, but at this moment, he suddenly frowned slightly. Jumped up violently. I saw his round eyes looking at Levi in front of him, and then he asked Levi in an excited and even trembling voice, No, if I remember correctly, your identity isn't that the person named Levi. Please give me flowers, advertisement, my father was captured by you at that time, right? The atmosphere at this moment became a little embarrassing, because Dao Dao was indeed taken away by him, and he still died because of himself, although he later appeared in the world government war. But at that time he was just a corpse. Even though he was still alive in this world at that time, he died after that because of Levi. So in this situation, in a sense, Levi can definitely be regarded as Yamato's father killing enemy. Now facing someone else's daughter, Levi suddenly became a little embarrassed and didn't know what to do. Explain. But at this moment, the girl suddenly rushed towards Levi. Great, I finally found you. I have always wanted to thank you before. 258. Yamato's life experience previous chapter next chapter. Advertisement after hearing this, Levi was stunned for a moment. He seemed to think that he heard wrongly at this moment, but then he raised his head again and found that Yamato was hugging him tightly and looking at him. No matter how you look at the expression on his face, he is happy. This made Levi feel a little overwhelmed for a moment, after all, it could be seen from the expression on his face. Advertisement but I was the one who killed the, one, three, three, party, but the other party actually thanked me. No matter how I heard it, it felt a bit strange. After thinking of this, I quickly stretched out my hand, and Yamato let go. Yamato is like a little koala, hanging tightly on Levi's body, and Levi can even feel the girl's body temperature and softness through her clothes. Although Yamato looks small, his body is very heavy, and more importantly, his body is full of magical elasticity. After Levi put Yamato down, Yamato immediately started laughing. Then looking at Levi's shocked expression, he naturally understood what Levi was thinking. You must be curious why you killed my father, but I always wanted to thank you, because in my heart, I have always hated this father very much. Advertisement after he said this, he began to describe to Levi the things between him and Kaido. It turned out that although the two were father and daughter, their relationship was more like enemies. Kaido was a member of Rock's Pirate when he was young. This is actually no secret in the world now, and many people even know about it. Under such a premise, Kaido didn't have much time to take care of his family at that time, but he happened to marry a wife, and that wife gave him a child named Yamato. When Yamato was young, he didn't even know that he had a father, or to be more precise, he knew that his father's name was too many, and he was a member of the Rock's Pirate, a very powerful man. But he had no idea of any of this. See how lived a very miserable life when he was a boy because he was born with a pair of horns on his head. These horns made him look like a freak, so many people bullied him. Advertisement it's just that his mother would help him beat away the other children who bullied him every time. Under such circumstances, Yamato originally hated these careless people in his heart. But being able to live with his mother is certainly the best thing for him, so although he feels painful when he is outside, he is still very happy at home. Until one day a group of marines suddenly came to his hometown, and immediately took Yamato's mother away. According to those marines, the relationship between Yamato's mother and Kaido is likely to make him it also poses some threats to those around them. That is to say, in this 4.1 situation, Yamato's mother was directly arrested, but Yamato hid at that time, and did not know much about him. From then on, Yamato never saw his mother again, and not long after that, Yamato followed him, and suddenly he found a very powerful man coming to the island. That man, like himself, had long hair on his head, with a pair of horns. 259. Yamato's Tragic Childhood Previous Chapter Next Chapter Advertisement The man found Yamato soon after arriving on the island, told Yamato that he was Yamato's father, and then said that he would take Yamato away. Yamato saw that this man had a pair of huge horns on his head that were exactly like his own, and he also fell into deep thought at this time. However, after a period of deep thinking, he finally forced Kaido to agree to one condition. At that time, Rock's pirate had already fallen apart. Due to their own internal problems, they became very miserable at that time, but Kaido suddenly became very powerful at that time. Advertisement under such circumstances, Kaido was able to dominate the sea, so when he learned that his daughter suddenly had something to do, he asked him to help him complete it. Of course he won't refuse. But Kaido fell into deep thought after listening to Yamato's request, because Yamato's request was for Kaido to find his mother. So after hearing this request, Kaido fell into silence for a long time, followed him, and finally told Yamato that his mother had been killed by Marine. And the Marine who killed Yamato's mother has been cut into thousands of pieces by Kaido, so in this situation, Kaido naturally has nothing to do. Advertisement after hearing the news, Yamato suddenly felt that he had been punished. He only felt the extra pain in his heart, and at this time, 
he cried and asked Kaido why he had to cruelly abandon their mother and daughter. Of course Kaido didn't know how to answer. At that time, because he was a pirate, of course he couldn't bring these two people with him, otherwise his profession would only kill them both. But he also knew that the reason why he gave birth to Yamato with that woman was entirely because of his own selfishness, so of course he felt very guilty in his heart and just wanted to make up for his daughter. It is precisely because of this that Yamato was finally taken away by Kaido, and when Kaido came to Yamato, he gradually learned something about him. Speaking of this, Yamato followed closely, suddenly laughed, raised his head and looked at Levi with bright eyes. Advertisement, didn't you ask me why I went crazy just now? Since you want to know, I'll tell you, it's not a secret anyway. We are a special race that has been passed down from ancient times, and our name is called Mad War. Our characteristic is that we have a pair of horns on our heads. But because our race is naturally very fond of fighting, we are called their lifespan is not long. In addition, there are very few people of our 500 race, so not many people know about this matter until now. But we can stimulate the potential in our body at critical moments. By overdrawing some physical strength and even vitality, our combat effectiveness can instantly explode on the original basis. When it is at its highest, it can even reach 10 times its original value. After hearing this, Levi suddenly realized that Kaido had never used such a method before, so Levi didn't know it, and Kaido couldn't use it after he became his own puppet. 260. The Helplessness of the Mad Warriors. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Because this ability needs to be controlled by the owner of the body, and Levi did not know that Kaido had such an ability before, so of course he would not give this order to Kaido, and Kaido himself did not know it either. Or to be precise, after Kaido became a puppet, his memory did not contain this part of the content, or the content of this part was very incomplete. Of course, he would not take the initiative to think of using this move. But no matter what, in Yamato's heart, of course, he was full of hatred for Kaido. Although Kaido was taken away, Yamato has been very good to Yamato since then, and he will also teach Yamato various martial arts. But the relationship between Yamato and Kaido has always been very cold. Advertisement. Well, of course Yamato is not the kind of person who makes trouble without reason, so he also knows very well that Kaido is his father. Although he doesn't like Kaido very much, the relationship between him and Kaido is also normal between a father and his daughter. Get along. It wasn't until he grew up that he realized that his father was not only a devil, but also a tyrant. He likes to kill people, even likes to watch people die cruelly, and also likes to torture people. Such a person is simply unreasonable to Yamato, so he has been trying to stop Kaido, but Kaido never listens to him. If. Gradually, the relationship between father and daughter became worse and worse, and under such circumstances, until one day Levi suddenly appeared beside Kaido like a divine weapon from heaven and took Kaido away. Yamato felt excited after hearing the news, so it was under such circumstances that he followed the place where they originally lived. Advertisement. Tai traveled around the world. It's just that Yamato didn't realize another thing, that is, his identity and his race meant that he naturally needed to eat a lot of food in order to maintain enough energy in his body. In the past, of course, I could eat as much food as I wanted around Kaido. After all, Kaido could definitely prepare a lot of food according to his ability. But after leaving Kaido's side, Yamato didn't have much money on him. If he wanted to eat, he had to work to earn money. Moreover, although Kaido taught Yamato a lot of martial arts, he did not tell Yamato how to make money. Therefore, Yamato had a different approach to the matter of power, and he could not use his own strength to steal money. Advertisement. This quickly led to a conflict, that is, Yamato. He wanted to make money, but he couldn't make money, but he was hungry and gradually became like this. After listening to the story about Yamato, Didi Zhao, Levi also sighed helplessly. Quote dot dot dot. Actually, I can endure hunger for a period of time, but I can't get enough of the food I eat every day in this village, so I'm actually hungry every day. Once I'm too hungry, I'll go crazy. After Yamato said this, he showed an aggrieved expression, but Levi also reached out and touched his head at this time. 261. The Limit of Golden Lion. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Don't worry, your life was not very good in the past, so you were always hungry, but from now on you will definitely not be hungry if you stay with me. Levi looked aggrieved, and Yamato reached out and rubbed his head and said to him. Yamato nodded after hearing Levi's words, although he usually looked like a very tough look. Even for a long time, Kaido would tell others that Yamato was his son, but in fact, Yamato's essential character was actually a very cute little girl. At least now, after hearing Levi's comforting words, he I felt a little aggrieved for no reason. It is precisely because of this that during the next period of time, Yamato was naturally tight and nodded obediently. Advertisement. If anyone has seen Yamato before or knows Yamato, they will definitely be shocked when they see Yamato like this. But for some reason, this is the first time he has been with another person since he was born. He felt a feeling of pampering, and the last person who could give him this feeling was his mother. So naturally he had no intention of resisting, but just sat quietly on the ground. At the same time, Levi's eyes fell on the golden lion on the other side. The golden lion just stood there blankly. He didn't look as scary as before when he massacred other ordinary people around him. Instead, he looked very quiet. This is because he has returned to Levi now. That's why it became like this. Levi's eyes fell on Golden Lion, and then he said slowly to Golden Lion, 
Golden Lion, I ask you a question, can you use your ability to help me build a tower that can levitate to the sky? A palace in midair. Advertisement. After hearing Levi's words, the Golden Lion raised his head at this moment. After thinking for a moment, he nodded. No problem, but there are still certain limitations on the size of this palace. After all, I also have certain abilities. It's the limit, otherwise, wouldn't I be able to levitate the entire earth? Then what is the limit of your ability? This is not a problem for Levi. Although he does want to work hard to build a very magnificent palace, even if it is just an ordinary palace, as long as it can take people to fly in the sky, it doesn't matter. It was precisely because of this that Levi's eyes fell on them during the next period of time, and he also laughed at this time. Of course, this was nothing to Levi. Advertisement. Time passed little by little, and during the next period of time, Levi naturally started laughing at this time. On the other side, after hearing Levi's question, the golden lion once again gave the answer, it's probably at most the size of a mountain. I'm talking about the same size as the mountain not far away. As golden lion spoke, he pointed at a mountain peak not far away. After Levi saw this mountain peak, he was obviously stunned because he did not expect that what golden lion said was actually like this. Because the peak that golden lion is pointing to is very tall. 262. Building a palace from the ground. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Or to be more precise, the height of that mountain peak was at least a thousand meters high at a glance, and the radius was at least dozens of miles, so such a mountain peak naturally shocked Levi. In fact, Levi had never been very clear about the limit of Golden Lion's ability before, but now after seeing Golden Lion and pointing at the mountain, Levi suddenly understood that Golden Lion was stronger than he had imagined before. It's even stronger. Advertisement. What's more important is that on such a huge mountain, there is no problem in just building a palace, or even putting it directly on a city. So in this case, for Levi, this is certainly nothing. He sighed helplessly, then nodded, and then said to the golden lion in front of him, I don't need it to be that big, I just need it to be about the size of a ship, but the best inside is give me a little more room and everything, and make the height a little higher, so of course I can live more comfortably up there. In fact, Levi also knows very well that although the limit of golden lion's ability is a mountain, that is just the limit. It does not mean that he can always work hard to fly around in the sky of such a big palace, so it is best to do it. Smaller. Under such circumstances, Levi's eyes fell on Golden Lion, and Golden Lion nodded immediately after hearing Levi's words. Time passed little by little. In the following period, for Levi, the incident itself was of course nothing, and the Golden Lion on the other side naturally laughed at this time. Advertisement. No problem, of course this is a piece of cake for me. In that case, just wait a moment and I will get all these things done right away. As he spoke, he waved his hands, and then many small hills began to bulge on the ground. This made Levi feel particularly magical. In fact, he had never experienced such a thing before. Just, have seen it. In fact, at the beginning, when Golden Lion's Devil Fruit ability was not as exaggerated as it is now, he could make some things fly and himself fly, but the premise was that he had to come into contact with these things. Ask for flowers. But now that these things have awakened with Golden Lion's ability, they no longer need to be as exaggerated as before. Golden Lion only needs to be able to see these things, and he can directly control those things to fly. Advertisement. Point zero. It is precisely because of this that he controls the means to change the terrain through this ability. He can rely on his ability to make the soil on the ground and other various terrains begin to change their shape toward the sky, so that the terrain can be changed. The ground began to rumble and shake, and at the same time, both Yamato and Robin showed shocked eyes at this time, although they had already guessed what it would be like if the Golden Lion had the ability to do such a thing. Of. But now that they actually saw this scene with their own eyes, they were still shocked. After all, they had never seen such a thing before, so they all swallowed their saliva at this time. 263. Huge Palace. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. And the palace built by these ten golden lions also officially appeared in front of Levi in the next period of time. Levi also raised his head at this time and looked towards the palace. But when he saw the appearance of the palace clearly, he was shocked because the palace that appeared in front of him, no matter how you look at it, it seems a bit shocking. The size of the palace, three, in front of me is as big as a ship. This is indeed done in accordance with Yi Hao's requirements, and under such circumstances, I fell on this palace with my good eyes, but couldn't help but take a breath of air immediately after. This is a palace about 20 meters high, and at a glance, it is surrounded by a palace full of all kinds of strange and weird buildings. At a glance, you can see that there are large rooms inside, but the internal structure is very spacious. Advertisement. Under such circumstances, the Golden Lion followed suit and fell in love with Levi, and then said to Levi with a sense of wanting to take credit, this palace can probably occupy my ability. 120th, if you are very satisfied with this palace, then I probably don't need to continue with more renovations. Of course there's no problem. I'm very satisfied with this palace. If that's the case, let's Levi live in this palace from now on. This way I don't have to fly around to go anywhere. Levi received this place. In fact, he already had a ship before, but that ship was destroyed during the war with the world government, so he now needs to build a new palace. It is precisely because of this that in the following period, his mood naturally became a little weird. 
Advertisement. Under the leadership of Levi, everyone walked into the palace. Except for Golden Lion, all three people present showed surprised expressions, even Levi himself was no exception. Because this palace is very beautiful no matter how you look at it, and more importantly, the interior decoration style covers almost most of the decoration styles in the world. So under such circumstances, such a palace can be described as a perfect work of art. It is precisely because of this that Levi's eyes fell on this palace, and then he thought of himself. From now on, Levi can sit on this palace all the time, and then fly around in this world. His mood it is inevitable that there will be some excitement. Advertisement. After playing around, Levi really felt very satisfied. So Levi laughed at this moment, and then said slowly to the golden lion beside him, this thing is already very good. In this case, can we let him flying around in the sky? Of course there is no problem. In that case, let's fly in the 2.8 sky of this palace for a while. I really want to see what it will be like when it flies in the sky of this palace. When Golden Lion said this, Levi felt a little surprised at this time, because from the time he saw Golden Lion again until now, he discovered that Golden Lion's IQ was compared with before. It seems to have improved a lot. 264. Golden Lion's Intelligence. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. In the past, Golden Lion was not as smart as it is now in terms of words and deeds. He did whatever he said and could only understand some simple commands. For example, he can ask Golden Lion to kill a certain person directly, or to fetch something, but if he is asked to execute some complex commands, which require some of his own judgment, then it will be a problem for him. It's very difficult for him. For example, this is the case this time. When he made this palace, there were many strange and eccentric styles in it, which was already very unusual for him, and in this case, these things must have come from his own mind. It is precisely because of this that Levi naturally felt a little curious at this time, but he was not worried that this was because Golden Lion's IQ was gradually recovering again, and even his previous memories were restored. If this is really the case, then Golden Lion Lion will not behave like this now. Advertisement. When Golden Lion didn't have the memory of being exploited by Levi, the appearance of Golden Lion Tower every time he showed it to everyone was very arrogant, at least he would never act on his words like this. Even the second before he was deprived of his memory by Levi, he was still trying to kill Levi, so he became so well behaved after being deprived of his memory by Levi. If his memory has been restored now, he will definitely disagree with himself without hesitation, and even want to find an opportunity to leave secretly, instead of wreaking havoc all over the world during this period. Because he should know very well that if he wreaks havoc in this world, it will easily attract his attention. But Golden Lion still does this, which means that he wants to see him. In any case, since Golden Lion's memory is mostly it was impossible to recover, so Levi breathed a sigh of relief. Advertisement. But Levi also felt a little curious, that is, why Golden Lion became like this. After thinking about it for a while, Levi began to pour his spiritual power into Golden Lion's mind. But after he searched the soul of Golden Lion, he discovered that Golden Lion had actually regenerated another personality. As for the current Golden Lion, his character is strictly that of a child. This is the character that humans should have after birth, but in addition, there are many things in his mind. What Levi destroyed him was just his memory, which represented his personality, but there were many other things besides personality. Advertisement. For example, the knowledge that Golden Lion can understand does not require Levi to teach it again. He can quickly master it, so serving him under such circumstances will quickly create another person. Thinking of this, Levi understands why Golden Lion is like this now, but of course this is also a good thing for Levi. Golden Lion can actually have his own IQ, so when Levi does something, he can certainly do it more easily and does not need Levi to keep watching. This means that he, Levi, can stand alone, and it also makes Levi think of another possibility, that is, can he do the same thing when Levi regains other strong men? 265. Next Step Plan. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. For example, you can completely subdue a strong man, destroy the memory in his mind, then extract the memory in this person's mind, and then let him follow you, or even you can shape a person's personality according to your own needs. If this is really the case, it would be too terrifying. Thinking of this, Levi's mood naturally became a little weird. If he can really achieve this step, then he will definitely be able to accomplish very terrifying things. For example, he can completely eliminate some strong men according to his own needs, and then turn these strong men into enemies of himself. There are people who are completely obedient and have no character of their own. Advertisement. You must know that for other people, no matter how strong they are, they may not be able to do such a thing. Under such circumstances, the most other strong people can do is destroy their enemies and then let them his enemies disappear from this world forever, but Levi is different. He can turn his enemies into his subordinates without any restrictions, and he is the kind of subordinate who will never have any problems. He does not even need other techniques that are too complicated. Having such means would definitely be a very terrifying thing for anyone in this world. It is precisely because of this that such a thing is of course very terrifying for Levi, but Levi had no intention of continuing to use these methods at that time. If Levi himself really encounters someone who goes too far, he might be able to use these methods, but judging from the current situation, it is indeed too cruel to do so. Advertisement. It was precisely because of this that Levi finally sighed silently after thinking clearly about the nature of the matter. 
Time passed little by little, and in the following period of time, Levi certainly did not have any psychological burden on this matter. However, his eyes immediately fell on the dark palace around him, and some doubts and confusion arose in his heart. Although the interior styles and architecture of these palaces are flawless, there are many things that cannot be made out of thin air. For example, the tables, chairs, benches and other things that should be there must be found. These things must be rearranged. Go up. But this is not a difficult problem for Levi. Advertisement. Since they have been able to build such a large palace, is it difficult for them to find ways to spend some money to prepare some good things for themselves? And more importantly, Levi is not short of money now, because he has captured so many masters under his control before, and behind each of those masters there is a huge team. For example, Kaido is the biggest dealer in the underground market, Jows, and he has sold tens of thousands of smiles. It is precisely because of this that he certainly has a lot of money in his hands, and after Levi turned Kaido into his subordinate, he also took away the money belonging to Kaido. Under such circumstances, Levi should have a large amount of gold and silver treasures in his hands, and these gold and silver treasures belong to Levi, but Levi did not carry them with him. 266. Go to Sabayati Archipelago. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. In other words, there is so much wealth that he can control, and this wealth is naturally not a small amount for Levi. It is precisely because of this that it is impossible for Levi to carry all this money with him wherever he goes, so in the past, although Levi had a lot of wealth, he would put it all over the world, and now it's time for me to get all this money back. Advertisement. But at this moment, Levi suddenly thought of something else, so he also set his sights on Robin's 093 at this time. Do you know where the largest shopping mall in the world is? Levi, of course he wanted to ask this question where he could buy the best things to decorate his newly built flying palace. After hearing Levi's question, Robin Jaw gave the answer quickly after thinking about it. In my impression, the Sabayati Archipelago is the best palace in the world, because it is the place where all the five lakes and seas meet, and there is the Fishman Island below, so the two cities above and below are destined to have many people here. Come to this place. And unlike other shopping malls in the world, the people who can come to this place in Sabayati Archipelago are strong, and the strong represent a lot of wealth. Advertisement. After listening to what Robin said and what Levi said, you will understand. Come here and follow what Robin said. There are a large number of experts gathered in the Sabayati Archipelago. This is very normal, because this is the center of the world and it is also the Grand Line. Divide areas. Those who can come here can at least cross the first half of the Grand Line, and by the time they can get here, they will at least be somewhat famous masters. Or occasionally there will be some people who return here from the New World in the second half of the journey, but for the later CBFI people, they often have their own system, so they rarely come here this place. In this case, if Levi comes to Sabayati Archipelago, he will naturally be able to get a lot of good things in Sabayati Archipelago. Thinking of this, Levi naturally nodded immediately. In this case, he might as well go to Sabayati Archipelago first. And Levi also thought of another thing at this time, that is, he had found three red historical texts before. Advertisement. But the red historical text has a total of four pieces, which means that in addition to getting one piece from the Fur Tribe, he also got another piece from Wanokuni, and the third piece was obtained from Cake Island. Then he will naturally look for the fourth piece, but the only clue he can get from the fourth piece of red historical text is that he has not been to the Fishman Island before the Fishman Island. It is under such circumstances that if I want to find the fourth red historical text next, I should naturally go to this place to take a look. In addition, if you want to buy something, you have to go to Sabayati Archipelago, so if you go to that place in the next period of time, wouldn't it kill two birds with one stone? But before that, Levi thought of another thing, that is, he should first prepare some money for himself, otherwise he would use it to buy things. 267. Punk Hazard. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. It was under such circumstances that Levi remembered that not long ago, he had found some relatively hidden places in order to store the money better. The name of one of these islands is Punk Hazard, and the main reason why this island exists is because this island itself is already very famous. Not long ago, two marine admirals, Aokiji and Akainu, fought for the position of the next marshal, so they fought in this place. The strength of both of them can be said to be one of the most peak people in the world. Therefore, under such circumstances, when the two of them fought here, they naturally caused a lot of commotion and even destroyed the island. They were beaten to the point of collapse. Advertisement. Before this, this island was a very lively island, but after the arrival of these two people, the people living on this island discovered at this time that there was actually something on this island. It has become two completely different places, and it can be called purgatory. One side of the island is covered with blazing fire, while the other side has a lot of ice and snow, turning it into a land of ice and snow. Therefore, it is naturally impossible for anyone to survive in such a harsh environment. But it was under such circumstances that Levi put part of his protection on Punk Hazard in order to keep his things in a more private place. Most people in Punk Hazard will not go to that place, and Levi himself is very secretive. Even if someone comes to Punk Hazard, he will not be able to search all over Punk Hazard. In this case, of course he lives here. It was impossible to find what was inside. 
Advertisement. It is precisely because of this that in the next period of time, Levi's eyes naturally fell in the direction of Punk Hazard, and he followed up by giving an order to the Golden Lion beside him. After hearing what Levi said, Golden Lion naturally understood what Levi meant immediately, so he followed him closely, and at this time, he controlled the entire palace and floated in the direction of Punk Hazard. Dot dot dot. Please give me flowers. Time passed little by little, and unknowingly, the palace had reached the position directly above Punk Hazard. Under such circumstances, Levi naturally looked downwards, only to realize that if they didn't if there was an accident, it would have been at an altitude of several thousand meters. Advertisement. From such a high place, if it were someone else, they would definitely feel a sense of fear. After all, if someone fell from here, they would definitely be shattered to pieces. After all, the impact of rushing down like this would be at least as high as above. Thousands of caddies. But under such circumstances, Levi did not have any idea of these things. One problem in his mind was that the speed of the palace he was riding in was actually faster than he imagined. Under such circumstances, they had only sat in this palace for two or three hours at a stretch, and they had already covered a distance of several thousand miles. It was under such circumstances that Levi's eyes fell on this palace, and he couldn't help but sigh. 268. The place where the treasure is hidden. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Levi's eyes fell on this palace, and the expression on his face clearly became a little weird at this time. After all, for Levi, the existence of this palace itself is already a symbol for people. A very strange feeling. Under such circumstances, Levi was certainly overjoyed when the performance of this palace turned out to be better than he imagined. Next to Levi's, 360, Yamato and Robin both looked down at the same time, but they were both shocked at the same time because they never expected that they were actually at such a high place. After all, they had stayed in the palace before this. Advertisement. Although they all knew that they were flying in the sky at that time, it was a different feeling inside the palace, and more importantly, the palace was very stable when flying. But now, at a glance, these kilometers of course, the high altitude can make people tremble with fear. However, under such circumstances, Levi looked at the two little girls beside him and laughed at this time. With a bit of provocation, he asked the two little girls beside him, what's the matter? Are you too interested in jumping down from here with me? Levi's sudden question startled the two young girl colleagues beside him. They both looked at Levi at the same time. They never thought that Levi would ask such a question to confirm, so during the next period of time, both of them swallowed at the same time. Time passed little by little, and the two little girls looked at the environment below, but they only felt trembling for a moment, because no matter how they looked at the scene below, it gave people a very terrifying feeling. Advertisement. It was under such circumstances that Levi's eyes fell on the surrounding mountains below, and then he also took a deep breath at this time. The two little girls looked at Levi's serious look and not only subconsciously frowned. Are you serious? But if we jump directly like this, won't it be dangerous? Don't worry, as long as I'm around in this world, nothing will be dangerous to us. Levi patted his chest and said to the two little girls beside him. Of course, she could actually lower the palace to a lower place, but Levi just wanted to try it now, and she had confident enough. Advertisement. After the two little girls heard what Levi said, they were naturally stunned for a moment, but it could be seen from the expressions on their faces that each of them felt particularly special now, of tension. However, after seeing Levi's confident expression and hearing what Levi said, they were actually somewhat eager to try, so under such circumstances, it could be seen from the expressions on their faces that they now every 1.8 person is in a very excited mood. Very good. Since everyone is looking forward to trying this high-altitude bungee jumping experience in the next period of time, let's give it a try. While Levi was talking and holding on, the two little girls were caught off guard and reached out to take their waists. 269. Lost Treasure. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Levi's sudden movement startled the two little girls at the same time, and both of them screamed at the same time, showing frightened expressions on their faces. Under such circumstances, Levi's eyes fell on them, and it could be seen from the expressions on their faces that each of them felt very flustered now. Advertisement. But under such circumstances, Levi quickly reacted. For Levi, the emotions shown by these two people now certainly made them feel a little panicked. Time passed little by little. For Levi, what happened in the next period of time certainly made each of them feel very panicked. At the same time, on the other side, Levi was of course nervous. Followed and quickly reacted. But at this moment, behind Levi, a pair of huge black wings grew out from Levi's back at this moment, and then flapped the wings, driving a stream of air. It was the existence of that airflow that caused Levi to undergo some changes at this time. There should have been a biting wind on the surface of his body, but now, with the flapping of the wings, it was followed after a while. At that time, Chen Wei's body once again underwent some changes. It was at this time that Levi's pair of wings began to flap, so the expression on Levi's face also became much calmer at this time, because while his wings were flapping, his body was falling faster. It also slowed down a lot at this time. Advertisement. When everyone in the audience saw this scene, they were naturally a little surprised. The eyes of the two little girls fell on Levi. From the looks of their faces. It can be seen from the above that the emotions of the two of them have returned to calm. 
It's just that the speed at which everyone fell from the sky to the ground, although it had slowed down when Queen Levi's wings were beating, but even so, this speed was still very terrifying. Everyone flew to a position close to the ground, but at this moment, they suddenly chose to break tightly. The two little girls who followed suddenly felt a gust of wind hitting their faces, and they only felt a burning sensation on their faces. Pain. Before the two of them had time to react, at the same time, Levi suddenly straightened his body and stepped firmly on the ground. He raised his head and looked at the two little girls beside him. Also laughed proudly at this time. Advertisement. How about it? I'm leading you this time. The experience of trying it is not bad, right? 690. In that case, do you two want to try it again? But the two little girls were pale, and their eyes fell on Levi. At the same time, it could be seen from their eyes that they were obviously full of blame for Levi. It's just that this look is more of annoyance than blaming Levi. Well, you almost scared me to death just now. You don't even know how scared I was just now. When Yamato said this, he reached out and punched Levi on the chest twice, showing a nervous expression on his face. You will laugh out loud at this time. 270. Looking for the thief. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. But when your father was still alive, didn't he often do such things? So I thought you should have experienced it, but I didn't expect that you hadn't experienced it. Levi said this, but Yamato couldn't help rolling his eyes at this moment, and then said dissatisfiedly, I'm not as rude as him and a reckless man, but what I did just now was really it's so exciting. After hearing this, Levi couldn't help but wipe the sweat from his forehead. He said that he would not be so rude, but he immediately felt that such a thing was very exciting. No matter how he looked at it, it didn't seem to be sincere. As for which words were not true, Levi didn't know. Of course, in the next period of time, the expression on Levi's face also became a little weird at this time. For Levi, there are naturally many things that he needs to worry about in the next period of time. Advertisement. And for Levi, his current mood has naturally become a little depressed. The time he got up passed little by little. In the next period of time, Levi naturally reacted quickly. But now that everyone has returned to the ground, for Levi, of course, he must continue to finish what he has to do next. The purpose of his coming here before was to find the treasure he had placed here in advance, and under such circumstances, now that he has arrived at this place, of course there is nothing to worry about. Advertisement. So under such circumstances, he looked around in the future, as if he wanted to see where the treasures he left behind were located, and this was of course a very important thing for Levi. So under such circumstances, Levi naturally scratched his head. Time passed little by little. In the next period of time, the expression on Levi's face naturally became a little confused. Got up. It's strange. I remember that I dug a deep hole here, buried the treasure, and then erected a very huge icicle on it. But now the icicle has disappeared. When Levi received this place, he showed a puzzled expression, and at the same time, other people present also looked around at the same time, Kong Ran didn't see any signs of freezing. Advertisement. But at this moment, Levi suddenly thought of something. Following the pile behind him, the huge black wings flapped violently a few times, and actually brought up a gust of wind, and this gust of wind also blew up at this moment. All the surrounding ice and snow were blown down and kept flying in all directions in the sky. At the same time, after the gust of wind brought by the wings hammered away the ice and snow, Nuo's good eyes followed and exposed the land below. It was precisely because of this that in the following period, there was an obvious moment in the field. All felt a little weird. But at this moment, Levi discovered something strange, that is, there was a huge hole on the ground, and next to this hole, Levi frowned at the stage. Because no matter how you look at it, this hole is the same one you dug at that time. 271. The Lost Treasure. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Logically speaking, the greatest significance of the existence of this cave is to help Levi solve this matter completely. Under such circumstances, Levi naturally does not need to worry about too many things now. Generally speaking, there should have been a lot of gold and silver treasures stored here before, but now it is empty, and there is nothing at all at first glance. Advertisement. Thinking of this, Levi naturally showed a confused expression. After all, his things were buried under the ice and snow, so logically they shouldn't be lost that easily, and there was nothing authentic about the cave. Could it be that all the treasures he buried during this period of time disappeared mysteriously? But no matter how you look at it, it doesn't look like this, so after some judgment, Levi quickly got an answer. There is only one truth in this world, and after all unlikely answers have been eliminated, no matter how exaggerated the final answer is, it is definitely the most correct answer. The Tibetan things sold here must have been taken away by someone else. Although I don't know who it is, and I don't know how that person discovered that there are treasures buried underground. But judging from the clues I can get now, besides someone else, CBEG, dug up his treasure, and there is no other possibility. At this moment, Robin Ball on the side suddenly discovered something, and the ground not far away showed a solemn expression, and then pointed at the mark and looked at Levi. Advertisement. Quickly look to see if this thing is the footprints of something. No matter how you look at these footprints, there is something unusual about them. After Robin finished speaking, Levi was stunned after hearing this. He turned his head and looked in the direction of Robin's finger. Sure enough, he found that there was a huge footprint on the ground. The footprint looked like it's very strange. 
Under such circumstances, Levi's eyes fell on the footprints, and at this moment, he showed a slightly surprised expression, because to Levi, this footprint seemed a bit strange anyway. But things have come to this point, so for Levi, of course there is nothing to say about the matter itself. Well, so Levi's eyes fell on this footprint, and he immediately reacted at this moment. Advertisement. He had always felt suspicious before, and he wanted to know what was on this footprint, but now it seems that this footprint may not be as complicated as he imagined, and maybe it is the stolen treasure of his own. People. Thinking of this, he naturally became a little strange in his heart. If things were really like this, then if he found the owner of this footprint, wouldn't he have found the person he was looking for? Thinking of this, Levi reacted immediately. Since he had already thought of this step, of course there was nothing much to say for him. Levi also reacted immediately at this time, staring closely at the footprints and observing, wanting to see what the footprints were about, and maybe he could find some clues. 272. Footprints around the treasure. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. But Levi has been watching this scene for a long time and still can't figure out what is going on. This naturally makes Levi feel a little confused in his heart. After he looked carefully for a long time, he showed a confused expression, then raised his head at this time, and then made a series of thoughts in his heart. These treasures of mine cannot be lost in such an inexplicable way, and they cannot be done for no reason, so someone must have tampered with them behind the scenes. In this case, we only need to find this people, whoever they are will be fine. Advertisement. Levi said with a serious face, and everyone else present also nodded. At the same time, he took a closer look at the series of footprints left on the ground, and then followed up with all the footprints. All of them were firmly memorized. Naturally, he was wondering what was going on with these footprints. For Levi, these footprints were, of course, unbearable, and he felt a little surprised in his heart. Time passed little by little, and in the next period of time, the expression on his face naturally felt a little doubtful, so under such circumstances, he would naturally heal his heart quickly, reacted. For Levi, in the next period of time, he will definitely have to experience a lot of things. After he took off these footprints, he also flew into the sky again at this time. Advertisement. If someone came to this place specially to pick up the footprints, it is probably impossible. In this case, someone else should have accidentally discovered that they had put something down in this place, and then followed closely. Let's start and come to this place to search. If this was really the case, even though Levi didn't recognize who these footprints belonged to, he began to wonder in his heart that maybe he could find the owner of the footprints around here. That is to say, under such circumstances, Levi quickly reflected it. For Levi, during the next period of time, he always felt a little curious in his heart. He flew into the sky again and looked around. Although what he saw now was a huge white world, it always gave people a dazzling feeling. Advertisement. But Levi took one look, his eyes fell on the white snow around him, and he quickly reacted. Because at this moment, he suddenly saw a series of footprints in the snow, and Levi only took a look at the footprints at this time, and immediately identified them. If nothing else, these footprints were indeed his previous ones. The one who has been looking for, the owner who stole the footprints of his treasure. Thinking of this, Levi naturally felt a little confused at this time. If 5.6 is really like this, then the owner of these footprints may inevitably make people feel a little confused for him. Things have reached this point, so in the next period of time, everything he does will make people feel a little confused. At this time, his eyes lit up. 273. Looking for the thief. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. If I really discover the owners of these thieves now, then of course I have nothing to worry about now. Seeing Levi here, he immediately thought in his heart that he should do something next. If there is really nothing wrong with his idea, then he only needs to keep searching for these footprints, and he will be able to find the owner of the footprints. Advertisement. If he found the owner of the footprints, maybe he would be able to find his treasure and go somewhere. After thinking of this, he naturally started to look in the direction of those footprints. In the following period of time, 21 Levi naturally felt some doubts in his heart. Until now, he has not figured out what he should do in this matter. However, he quickly brought several girls around him, and in a short time he had arrived at one of the places where the footprints were denser. It was under such circumstances that Levi naturally took the little girl to a place with dense footprints, and then started walking down along these footprints. But as they moved forward, they gradually discovered a strange thing, that is, the place they were going to go next, if nothing else happened, should be in the surrounding mountains covered with ice and snow. Advertisement. This kind of thing made Levi couldn't help but frown, and he felt a little confused in his heart. Under such circumstances, Levi quickly reacted. And more importantly, these footprints eventually disappeared on a piece of snow-free stone, which meant that the owner of the footprints had walked all the way from there to here. Thinking of this, Levi quickly reacted. He looked around again, only to find that there was a huge cave not far away. Under such circumstances, Levi suddenly heard a series of voices coming out of the cave. Movement. This also made Levi couldn't help but feel a movement in his heart, and he had a guess in his heart. If nothing unexpected happened, then the owner of this footprint should be in this cave. Thinking of this, Levi quickly reacted, his eyes fell on the cave, and at this moment he felt slightly excited. Advertisement. If you have arrived at the location of the cave now, 
Then in the next period of time, you should immediately know what you should do next. He quickly walked towards the location of Shandong, and under such circumstances, Levi's eyes fell on the cave, and after that, he heard a series of laughter and laughter coming from the cave. It was at this time that Levi's eyes fell on the cave, and the competition quickly reacted. Shandong could clearly see a huge figure. The figure was standing there, fiddling with something unknown. Levi's eyes fell on him, only to find that it was a strange figure. He suddenly realized why the footprints he saw before did not look like human footprints, but more like animal footprints. 274. Strange Monster. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Because this is not a person at all, but he is not an animal either, but a monster with the upper body of a human and the lower body of an animal. He suddenly remembered what happened on this island before. In the past, appalling human experiments took place on this island, and under such circumstances, an evil scientist named Gaisa conducted a large number of experiments on this island. Advertisement. Under such circumstances, this matter will definitely attract the attention of many people, but because its energy itself is not strong, no one has been aware of the situation here. But later he was gradually exposed, and was finally arrested, so behind this incident, of course he must be brought to justice. But even though Guy Saw was punished, he still left a lot of things in this place. Under such circumstances, behind this incident, if nothing else happened, he should definitely be the one who provoked the incident. Meet someone you shouldn't mess with. In this case, for Levi, the monster that Guy left behind after his human experiment was probably left in this place, and at the same time, it also swarmed towards that person at this time. The figure also noticed at this time, Levi's arrival, he turned his head at the same time, his eyes fell on Levi. Only then did he realize that the upper body of the monster in front of him was a human, but the lower body was a crocodile. Just chopped off the head. Advertisement. This half-human, half-crocodile monster was staring at Levi with a look of vigilance in his eyes. Under such circumstances, after seeing his appearance, Levi could not bear to I couldn't help but feel a little surprised. But what is more important to Levi now is the identity of this person in front of him, so under such circumstances, he naturally fights at this time. I feel a little confused inside. 1. But Levi soon discovered that he was wearing a crown on top of his head. And this crown was one of the many colorful treasures he buried under the ice and snow at that time, so at this time Levi was almost sure that if nothing else happened, the monster in front of him should be the man who stole his treasure at that time. Advertisement. At this time, the monster also looked at Levi. He followed closely, but suddenly showed a ferocious expression, stared at Levi and asked coldly, Who are you? Dare to break through the door, into the master's territory, are you here to seek death? When he talked about this place, you could tell from the expression on his face. He seemed to be very angry now, but then he was stunned for a moment. Because this guy obviously stole his things. F. But now why he suddenly turned into himself, looking for death, and thinking of this, Levi naturally reacted immediately, and at the same time, he snorted coldly. An invisible pressure instantly fell on the monster. For this moment, the monster's face changed drastically and he lay directly on the ground. 275. Who mocks whom? Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Seeing this scene, Levi immediately laughed out loud. It turns out it's nothing more than that. I thought you were so powerful, but to me, such a thing is of course nothing. Levi waved his hand leisurely, and the monster also raised his head and looked at Levi at this moment, his eyes filled with fear. It can be seen from the expression on his face that, if nothing else, Levi's strength has frightened him. Advertisement. But there is nothing strange about this in itself. After all, Levi's invisibility can create pressure, and it can also threaten him from a distance. This in itself can be a very scary thing. It was under such circumstances that Levi's eyes fell on him, and at this 753 moment he sneered. I thought you were so powerful. Since you are just a waste, what qualifications do you have to laugh at me now? Levi's voice was very cold, because for Levi, the monster in front of him and the strength he showed were not qualified to ridicule him. Levi knew very well. In fact, Levi had already figured out before this how he could detect his opponent's abilities. Advertisement. And the pressure he released just now was actually just the smallest amount of pressure. If he couldn't bear such pressure, it meant that this person was just an ordinary person. The monster in front of him was indeed like this, and at the same time, Levi walked over slowly at this moment he reached out and took off his crown from the top of the monster's head. Not only are you talking nonsense, but you can also steal my things. You are really bold, but Lousy is in a good mood today and I don't plan to argue with you. As Levi spoke, he looked at the crown in his hand. Only then did he realize that the crown was supposed to be glittering with gold and jewels, but now it was all covered in mud. Just looking at it was horrible. This also made Levi frown, but he finally put these things away, then looked at the monster in front of him coldly and asked, If my guess is right, then you should probably take some other things from me, then where do these things go? Advertisement. After Levi said this, it could be seen from the expression on his face that he was now a little angry at the monster in front of him, but the monster did not notice this. That's my baby, please return it to me quickly. How can I survive without my baby? Unexpectedly, the monster in front of him is still talking harshly, which makes Levi feel a little helpless, but Levi has nothing to do. If he really kills the monster in front of him, then he only needs one breath. 
With a little effort, this monster can be ground into minced meat. But he doesn't like to be such a cruel person, so of course Levi has no interest in this situation. It is precisely because of this that in the following period, after Levi hesitated for a while, he quickly reacted and looked at Yamato. 276. Duel. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. After Yamato noticed Levi's eyes, he obviously became a little curious at this time. He also raised his head and looked at Levi. The two people's eyes met. It was at this moment that Levi suddenly realized that Yamato was also looking at him. Hold yourself. Do you have something to tell me? If you have something, just tell me directly. I am happy to listen to you. It's actually very simple. I hope you can do me a favor now. Can you help me beat up this bastard? He is really such a bastard, but I don't want to do it myself. When Levi mentioned this place, Yamato's eyes suddenly lit up and his eyes fell on Levi. He followed him closely and looked at the monster not far away, and then he became a little excited. Clenched fists. Advertisement. Is it really okay? I've always been itchy before, because no one has come to fight with me these days. Hearing this, Levi couldn't help but be stunned for a moment, and then couldn't help rolling his eyes. It seems that Yamato is also a violent maniac like his father. But it doesn't matter to Levi. He quite likes Yamato's character, but compared to this, Levi doesn't care much now. The monster on the other side felt a little bit tired. He didn't expect Levi to start attacking him right away. At this time, he was naturally a little panicked, but Yamato had already aroused everyone's interest. Of course it is impossible to let this monster go. I'll give you a chance. If you can beat me, then all these things will be given to you. If you can't beat me, then you may have to hand over these things honestly. Advertisement. Yamato didn't seem to ask Levi what he meant, and just said to Levi without hesitation, but Levi didn't have any objection after hearing what he said, because Levi knew very well that Yamato would never be able to defeat a monster like me. So after the monster heard what Yamato said, he obviously felt a little excited, and his eyes suddenly lit up, because in his opinion, Yamato was just a thin little girl. Please give me flowers. Thinking of this, he nodded without hesitation at this moment, and then asked seriously, is what you just said true? Don't renege on the debt. What if you renege on the debt? After hearing this, Levi immediately rolled his eyes. Just now, the bastard was still saying that he didn't steal this thing, but now he immediately admitted it. Advertisement. 0.0. The monster also realized at this time that he seemed to have let something slip, so he quickly covered his mouth. However, he quickly realized it at this time. After all, for him, he had already obtained all his things, so it was absolutely impossible. Hand it over easily. So at this moment, he rushed directly towards Yamato. Judging from his appearance, it seemed that he planned to go all out against Yamato. At the same time, Levi's eyes fell on the two people on the other side, and at this time, he crossed his arms across his chest as if watching a show. Robin on the side looked a little nervous. Are you sure it's nothing serious? 277. Lost Treasure. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. After all, Robin has never seen what Yamato's strength is like before. Now that he sees Yamato fighting against the opponent directly, he is of course a little worried that Yamato will suffer a loss. But Robin didn't know clearly. Could it be that Levi still didn't know Yamato's strength? From the moment he saw Levi, he already knew what Yamato's strength was like. What's more important is that he had played against Yamato before. Uh, 413. Yamato's crazy state is indeed enough to make people feel frightened. Even Levi can't help but feel a little nervous when facing this state. Advertisement. So under such circumstances, Levi's eyes fell on Yamato, and it could be seen from the expression on his face that he was a little surprised by this situation. Because what he didn't expect was that Yamato rushed directly towards the monster not far away, and when the monster saw Yamato rushing over, it also clenched its fists at this time. I would like to see how capable you are. If you have the ability, you can defeat me head on. I am a little girl. I don't want to bully you. After seeing the monster, he had no intention of fighting with me. Instead, he excluded a little girl from fighting with him. Naturally, he felt a little annoyed. However, after taking a breath of anger, she quickly became a little more angry. Angry. Under such circumstances, he naturally clenched his fists and was about to attack Yamato, but Yamato looked at him without any fear, because to Yamato, such a thing was nothing. Advertisement. Seeing that the monster was about to come in front of him, Yamato didn't show any fear. The monster raised a mace high in his hand and was about to smash it down at Yamato. But at this moment, no one in the room expected that Yamato actually did not dodge at this time. Mean. On the contrary, Yamato actually raised his palm at this time, and judging from his appearance, if nothing else happened, he should be planning to have a head-on confrontation with this monster. Such a scene naturally makes people feel a little surprised. The monster obviously felt that he was humiliated at this time. He finally took a deep breath at this time, laid his eyes on Yamato, and then snorted coldly. Advertisement. You bastard, you dare to provoke me like this, then I will show you how powerful I am. When he said this, he immediately dropped the mace in his hand, and he also increased his strength at this time. According to his idea, Yamato would be seriously injured if he dropped the mace. But at this moment, something that no one expected happened. Yamato raised his palm and collided with the mace. At this moment, the mace sat on Inhei's palm, and there was no 4.3 there is a way to make a little progress. 
In other words, Yamato's power is actually stronger than this monster. The power of the mace wielded by the monster with all its strength is actually a bit weaker than Yamato's power. It was precisely because of this that he finally took a deep breath at this time, because for everyone present, this matter certainly made them all feel a little weird. 278. Yamato who beats monsters violently. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The monster fell with one stick and then saw that it was unsuccessful. Naturally, he was a little unwilling, so he dropped the second stick. But to him, such a thing was nothing, so after the two sticks fell down, Yamato was still unharmed, but the monster had begun to sweat profusely. Seeing him like this, Yamato also showed a look of contempt at this time. You feel tired so quickly, how are you going to promise me later? I thought you would have much ability. It turned out to be nothing more than that. Advertisement. The monster's face turned green and white 21. He never thought that one day he would be ridiculed like this, but when he thought of Yamato's look and tone when he was mocking him, he just felt angry. It is precisely because of this that in the following period, the expression on his face naturally felt a little confused, but at this time he continued to attack Yamato again. In the next period of time, he will definitely need to launch a lot of attacks, and on the other hand, Yamato looked at him and made a decision at this time. This monster was provoked again and again by Yamato, and his attacks had no effect at all in front of Yamato. Such things certainly made the monster feel a little nervous. It is precisely because of this that he naturally spent the next period of time thinking about how to defeat Yamato. Advertisement. But while he was thinking about this matter, Yamato was also thinking about how to kill it more quickly, so at this time Yamato took a few steps forward and rushed directly to the monster. In front of. Under such circumstances, when the monster saw Yamato coming to him, of course he swallowed and felt a little nervous. But at this point, he had no choice, because seeing Yamato coming in front of him, he wanted to escape, but Yamato was faster than he expected. He quickly reacted at this moment. If he was unhappy next, then he might not be able to survive Yamato's hand. But the moment he opened his four long legs and was about to leave, Yamato had already arrived in front of him. Yamato grabbed the monster's arm, then kicked him fiercely, and then kicked him hard. He kicked the monster in the stomach. Advertisement. The monster was caught off guard and was kicked in the lower abdomen by Yamato. At this 963 moment, it showed a strange expression. Because he never expected that Yamato's power was even more terrifying than he imagined. He now felt like his stomach was churning, and he didn't even have enough strength to stand up, but he had no other good solution. It is precisely because of this that he naturally has only one thought in his mind, and that is to escape. But the way Yamato looked at him on the other side didn't give him a chance at all. He grabbed the monster's tail, and then pulled the monster back with a strong force. 279. The Mastermind Behind the Scenes. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. The monster obviously didn't expect that things would turn out like this. He had never experienced anything like this before, so there was only one way he could think of in this situation. Since he and Yamato couldn't be beaten when they collided, he had no choice but to run away, but now that he couldn't even run away, he only had one thought, and that was to beg for mercy. I'm sorry for the heroine and the jungler. I was wrong. I didn't know those were your things before, so I brought these things over to you. If these things belong to you, then I am definitely willing to return them to your hands. I just ask you to let me go. Advertisement. When the monster said this, he showed an aggrieved expression, and Levi looked at the monster and sighed helplessly. Then he slowly took a few steps forward and looked down. On that monster. I don't know why you stole our things, but these things are very important to us, and since you stole those things, you should have been punished. I didn't give you too serious a punishment. The punishment is already worthy of you. 11. Levi said coldly to the monster, and the monster nodded immediately after hearing Levi's words. Of course he understood that there would be a bit of anger in what he said next. But it didn't matter what Levi wanted to say, it didn't matter to the monster. Advertisement. That is to say, in the next period of time, the monster quickly reacted, and Levi was also staring at him at this time, but of course the monster also knew what Levi wanted to express, the main reason is because he stole the treasure Levi hid there. So at this time, he quickly put on a panicked expression, and then explained to Levi seriously, I'm sorry, hero, but I really didn't steal your things on purpose. Quote. It turns out that the name of this monster is T-Beard. He is a transformed monster. To be precise, his body is combined with the body of a crocodile, which also makes his strength based on the original it has increased a lot, but he has become a monster after all. So under such circumstances, of course he can only stay on this island. After all, he has become a monster and it is difficult for him to go out to meet people. Advertisement. But not long ago, people suddenly came to this island, and those people dug up the ground directly along the path they took before, and then took some things from inside. After those people left, a big hole was left on the ground. After Tibeard discovered the big hole, he found that there were many gold and silver treasures in it. So Tibeard took out all the gold and silver treasures there and took them for himself. In his opinion, no one else wanted those things. After Levi heard this, he couldn't help being stunned for a moment. He naturally reflected that if nothing else happened, someone else should have discovered the treasure he had stored. 280. Go to Sabayati Archipelago. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. 
It's just that Levi doesn't know who the people who stole his treasures are, so under such circumstances, he naturally feels very weird in a good mood. He thought about it, and finally set his sights on T-Beard in front of him, and then began to ask Wu Hao for information about those people. But in the end, Levi realized that the information was a bit surprising to him. According to T-Beard, the clothes worn by the people he met at that time made Levi feel like they were from Marine no matter how he sounded. Advertisement. Levi seemed to understand after hearing this. Could it be that Marine accidentally discovered his treasure at that time? If that was really the case, then he would naturally feel a little complicated now. 270 but no matter what, for Levi, although this kind of thing made him feel very helpless, he had nothing to do. At the same time, on the other side, Levi's eyes also fell on them. Although some treasures disappeared before, the best way now is to collect the insurance policies that can be found first, so as to ensure the maximum reduction of losses. Levi also searched around the cave where Tbeard lived at this time, and after a while, CBBD, he found some valuable things that belonged to him in the cave. However, after taking inventory, he discovered that the things he had put here before were actually not as valuable as he thought. The most lost things here were mostly similar to those in various countries. Or for some people, they represent a baby with some symbolic meaning. Advertisement. It's just that although these treasures are very important to some people, to most people, they are nothing at all. So under such circumstances, those things may not actually be sold at a high price, but more importantly, the world government is gone now. So even if he really wanted to get these things back, he had no choice. Thinking of this, Levi naturally sighed helplessly. His eyes fell on everyone, and soon they became a little weird. Levi carefully collected all these treasures and then said to the Chinese in front of him again, Next, we should be able to continue with our original plan. Advertisement. As he spoke, he returned to the palace where he had just acquired, following closely behind him at this time, taking all the treasures back. They had already planned to go to Sabayati Archipelago before, and under such circumstances, they now have a lot of things in their hands, and if these things are sold, they will definitely be able to get a lot of money. Money. When the time comes, you can decorate this palace so that you can live more comfortably in it. Of course, in the end, Levi did not forget himself. The most important goal is the last piece of all red historical texts, which is located in the Fishmen Island. And naturally they only need to go to the Fishmen Island. 281. Go to the Fishmen Island. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The large palace levitated and flew in the sky, and at this time everyone present returned to the palace. It was at this time that the eyes of the people present fell on the palace, and they quickly reflected on it. For them, what happened in the next period of time, of course, also made each of them. Some are unimaginable. Time passed little by little, and unpleasant kung fu floated in the sky of the flying palace. At this time, it moved closer to the distance little by little. In the following period of time, everyone naturally sat on the palace, followed closely behind them, just suspended in midair, and then carefully observed the changes in the scene below little by little, and this time they the place we want to go is Sabayati Archipelago. Advertisement. If I remember correctly, the last piece of red historical text should be directly under the Sabayati Archipelago, where there is an island called the Fishman Island. Levi introduced Robin seriously. After hearing what Levi said, 20 Robin also showed an excited expression, because he had known about the Fishman Island a long time ago, but he had always known about it. Haven't had a chance to go. Not only that, but he had never even seen a real fisherman before, because the relationship between those fishermen and human beings was still very poor before they died. Having said this, Robin sighed helplessly. Speaking of which, if I remember correctly, a long time ago, the relationship between humans and murlocs should have been very good. After all, at that time, the two races still had certain exchanges with each other, and sometimes even there will be some trade, but until one day, someone suddenly starts to capture the mermaids and then make them prisoners. Advertisement. Things like this have become more and more popular since then. That is to say, under such circumstances, in the following period, for many people, their moods naturally became more and more tense, and the relationship between the two races also became worse and worse. There are more and more human traffickers appearing among humans, but what they traffic is not humans but fishermen. Because of their unique natural appearance of this race, many people think they are very cute. Please give me flowers, but these mermaids are not so called cats and dogs. They also have their own consciousness, and their IQ is almost the same as that of humans. Therefore, the two races must have become enemies. Relation. Advertisement. Zero. In addition, the fighting power of mermaids is stronger than that of humans in the sea water, so the mermaids have occupied a piece of sky in the sea water, and they have become undying enemies with humans. In the past, mermaids could be seen almost everywhere in the world, but now this has gradually disappeared. So under such circumstances, those mermaids naturally gradually became different from before. They hated their enemies and sometimes even took the initiative to attack them. But there are even many people who remember that a long time ago, mermaids were a very kind race, and some of them were even simple and kind. 282. The Past of the Mermaid Clan. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. But gradually the gap between the two races is getting wider and wider, and under such circumstances, the relationship between the two races naturally gradually becomes worse. 
Of course, for many people, such a thing is nothing, and each of them becomes extremely nervous at this time. Advertisement. It is said that a hero of the mermaid tribe appeared a long time ago. His name was Fay. 457, Sheertag. It was precisely because of his appearance that the first shot of the mermaid's resistance was fired. Then Levi's status as a mermaid has gradually become higher. But even so, their attitude towards human beings is still very hatred, so gradually the two races have no contact with each other until now, unless there are occasional encounters around the Sabayati archipelago saw some. Levi's eyes fell on Robin and he laughed at this time. It is precisely because of this that Levi looked at the people in front of him and quickly reacted. If possible, I think I can even establish a good relationship with these two races, but this matter is really difficult for us. Some of them are too far away, so it's not easy for us to do this well. When Levi mentioned this place, everyone present couldn't help laughing after hearing what Levi said. Advertisement. Time passed little by little, and in the next period of time, Levi's eyes fell on them, and he quickly realized that such a thing was of course nothing to them, but Levi I have no interest in taking care of these unnecessary things. The waiting suspended palace was already drifting in the sky with the wind at this time. Under the control of the Golden Lion, it had arrived directly above the Sabayati archipelago. Levi also looked down at this time. They only then did I see that there were many trees below. Each of these trees is very tall and towers into the clouds, the tallest is even hundreds of meters high. As the most prosperous island on the entire Grand Line, there are naturally a lot of people in this place, so even if they are close to a thousand meters in the sky, they can see many people walking back and forth below. Time passed little by little, and soon everyone discovered that there was a house flying in the air above their heads. This also surprised many people, and they all sighed with emotion at this time. Advertisement. And at this time, Levi looked at the faces of the people below and couldn't help but laugh. In fact, he knew very well that the entire world was in turmoil during this period. Because the world government has been completely destroyed, until now, there is still no one who can rule the world. Although the revolutionary army has gradually grown in size during this period, it has become one of the organizations with the most potential and hope to rule the world so far. But the whole world is such a big cake, so naturally there are many people who want to get a piece of the pie at this time. For them, if they can get even a small piece of the cake, they can be prosperous. Become rich. But Levi looked at them and sneered. 283, arriving at Sabayati Archipelago. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. How about you guys want to experience the feeling of falling from the sky to the ground again? Levi looked at the two little girls beside him and thought about asking them. Some methods still have to be used, and intimidation is sometimes very useful. Advertisement. After all, problems that can be solved with threats are not problems. After hearing what Levi said, any little girls were naturally stunned for a moment. It could be seen from the expressions on their faces that they were still a little nervous about such a thing, but Yamato was eager to try it. Look. Okay. In that case, let's get started. When Levi mentioned this place, he naturally put his arms around the two little girls, followed by his soft waist, hugged them into his arms, and pulled them over with a strong force in his hands. Under such circumstances, they also quickly jumped from the suspended palace at this time. Under such circumstances, everyone also fell rapidly from the sky at this time, and the middle person present, as time passed little by little, fell steadily to the ground at this time. Advertisement. But even though Levi had a pair of wings flapping behind him, which could slow down his fall from midair, they still had a strong impact when they landed on the ground. It was this impact that caused Levi to center on his body the moment he landed on the ground. A large funnel-shaped pit appeared directly on the ground under his feet at this time. The eyes of many people around fell on Levi. It could be seen from the expressions on their faces that they were obviously frightened by Levi, and when Levi saw their looks, he immediately smiled. Stand up. At this moment, among the crowd around him, someone suddenly recognized Levi's identity. Their eyes fell on Levi, and they all showed nervous expressions in their eyes at this time. After all, they never expected Levi to appear in this place, and under such circumstances, they quickly reacted. For everyone present, each of them felt very excited. Advertisement. Time passed little by little, and Levi's eyes fell on them. At this time, everyone present swallowed their saliva. For them, such a thing was naturally something they had never thought of. Every one of them feels very nervous now, because they have never seen such a thing before. However, they quickly realized that if the person in front of them was really Levi, wouldn't their appearance in this place mean that they were in Levi's sight? Just thinking of what Levi did before, many people present felt a little panicked at this moment. After all, before this, each of them felt a little nervous at this time. However, some people in the crowd were scared, and some people were not afraid of death. They rushed up with cameras and started looking at Levi's license plate. What's more important, there were many reporters around who came to Levi and took out their license plates. Microphone. 284. All eyes are on you. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Levi had disappeared before. For a long time, many people had never seen Levi before. But now Levi has reappeared, which naturally shocked many people's attention. Time passed little by little, and in the following period, the expressions on their faces naturally became a little surprised. For them, such a thing certainly makes each of them feel a little nervous. 
Their eyes fell on Levi, and it could be seen from the time they looked at Levi that the expressions on each of their faces felt very strange. Advertisement. Under such circumstances, each of them felt very excited at this time, because for them, such things also made them feel very emotional. The expressions on each of their faces now have some expectation at this time. Time passes little by little. In the next period of time, facing the people present, the feelings in their hearts the mood seemed a little weird. Time passed little by little, and after a while everyone discovered that the Levi in front of them was actually the real Levi, so they all wanted to interview Levi at this time, but Levi was really cruel when they saw them. He glared at them. This suddenly shocked everyone present. They all trembled at this time, and their eyes when looking at Levi were filled with fear. Twenty Levi laughed disdainfully when he saw their looks, because to Levi, such things were nothing at all. Advertisement. If you have any questions you want to ask, you can ask me, but I may not be in the mood to answer you. Of course, if you piss me off, don't blame me for being rude. When Levi said this, a sneer appeared at the corner of his mouth, and everyone else present looked a little panicked when they saw Levi's expression, they all know very well what Ji Wei's strength is. So under such circumstances, if Levi gets angry later and forgets them, the entire surrounding island may be destroyed by Levi, so they naturally feel a little nervous at this time. It's just that as the saying goes, the bold will be overwhelmed and the timid will be starved. If you look around here, there will definitely be many people who will become excited. For them, there is definitely not much time to communicate face to face with Levi, so under such circumstances, each of them feels a little nervous at this time. Advertisement. Time passed little by little. In the following period, Levi's eyes fell on everyone. For everyone present, of course they felt a little nervous in their hearts. It was precisely because of this that when Levi looked at them, they all swallowed hard at this time. Every one of them obviously felt very nervous. After all, until now, they didn't know exactly what Levi wanted to do. However, there are many things on their minds now, because under such circumstances, of course they want to know many things about Levi. After all, only by understanding the information can any decision they want to make appear to be more beneficial to themselves. 285. Being interviewed. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. But looking at Levi's appearance, they definitely didn't dare to ask too many things, so after much deliberation, they finally made a decision, that is, in the next period of time, if possible, they might as well ask Levi directly. Here are some things about Levi. It is precisely because of this that for them, such things are obviously not as easy to solve as they imagined, so under such circumstances, each of them is thinking about what they should do next. If things really go according to what Levi said, then the development of this matter in the end may be even weirder than many people imagine. Mr. Levi, the question we want to interview you is very simple. Who do you plan to elect in this world as your next person who can get your approval? Advertisement. This is not my decision, but I want to see who can do something that satisfies me. Only after I am satisfied can I recommend him. Levi had indeed guessed that the reporter would ask such a question, and many people around him brightened up and became a little more expectant, because they all knew what Ji Wei meant. If they can get some clues from Levi's mouth and do something to get Levi's support, then they will definitely do what Levi said in the next period of time, and then they can get Levi's support. Support. Once Levi's support is obtained, the benefits that can be obtained at that time are simply self-evident, and it is precisely because of this that for many people, everyone feels a little excited now. Advertisement. But how could Levi not know what they were thinking, so looking at the expectant eyes of everyone around him, Levi just smiled faintly and waved his hand. Don't worry, everyone. Although I don't know what you are thinking in your mind right now, what I know is that I know exactly what the person I want looks like. So in this CBAB situation, the people I need are certainly not in the minority for me, and more importantly, I will never disclose to you any information about such people. If one day if I find someone who can get my approval, I will take the initiative to contact him. Levi said this, and at this moment, many people present showed disappointed expressions. They originally thought they could get some good news from Levi's mouth. Advertisement. But judging from the current situation, it seems that Levi has no intention of telling him these things. If this is really the case, then such a thing would be too helpless for them. Everyone was disappointed and sighed, but you followed. In this situation, Levi curled his lips when he looked at them. Okay, if you have any other questions, you can ask them now, but I may not answer you. Of course, if there are no questions, you can leave. Levi smiled brightly, and everyone present felt a little disappointed. Of course, they were not interested in other things around Levi, they were more interested in Levi's views on the future world. 286. Go to the Fish Men Island. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. But since Levi didn't say anything, of course they had nothing to do, so in this situation, they naturally felt a little helpless. Seeing that all the important tasks around him were gradually dissipated at this time, Levi burst into laughter at this time. For Levi, such a thing was of course nothing. Time passed little by little, and everyone present had almost dispersed. Only then did Levi let the golden lion control the mobile palace in the sky and slowly land towards the ground. Advertisement. But of course the place where they landed was also very particular. The place where they landed was a very spacious square, and there were no people here, so when the palace landed, it would not cause any disturbance to others. 
But such a thing as a house falling from the sky is of course very surprising to many people, so they all quietly became a little weird at this time. This was the first time they had seen such a scene, but Levi looked at them without paying attention to them. Instead, he searched around and found several companies that could decorate the rooms. There are several companies, each with a different style. Originally, they should be specialized in decorating various rooms, but now, when they learned that they were going to decorate an entire palace, they were obviously frightened. One jump. And more importantly, the palace here is more like a castle than a palace. Under such circumstances, their mood may naturally be very nervous. Advertisement. After all, it was their first time to come into contact with such a large project, and under such circumstances, each of them had become a little excited and nervous at this time. The reason why they felt excited was of course because of the white money in Levi's hand. Looking at those banknotes, each of them felt excited. But if they were asked to do such a big project directly, of course some of them would not know what to do, so in this situation, each of them felt a little at a loss. Time passed bit by bit, and everyone in the next period of time was thinking about different things in their minds. Please give me flowers zero. Advertisement. But now that Levi has given these things to them, for Levi, he does not need to continue to think about the remaining things, so in this case, of course they have nothing to worry about. At the same time, Levi on the other side, he followed closely and thought about all the things he needed to consider. At the same time, during the remaining period, this palace did not need to fall into Levi's possession for the time being, in hand. And he plans to do some other things. For example, in the next period of time, he plans to go to the Fishman Island. After all, that place is of great significance to Levi. But how to get there? The Fishman Island has become a problem for Levi. Thinking of this, his mood naturally became a little weird. Time passed little by little, and in the following period, Iziru's eyes fell on them, followed them closely, and naturally started talking at this time. 287. Arrive at the Fishman Island. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. However, after thinking about it for a while, Levi quickly came up with some other solutions. For example, he could ask others to see how he could enter the underwater area. In fact, of course Levi knows very well that if you want to go to the Fishman Island, the best way is to wrap yourself in bubbles. In this way, with the protection of the bubbles, you don't have to worry about being hit by the huge, the air pressure was 430, and it was crushed. Even if Levi is very powerful and he is full of confidence in his own strength, even so, if he gets into the sea, he will still be crushed into a corpse zero. It is precisely because of this that under such circumstances, Levi was quickly prepared. As time passed little by little, in the next period of time, he quietly became effective at this time. Some felt helpless. Advertisement. But how to find the person who puts bubbles on himself is also a very important thing to Levi, so after thinking about it, Levi finally made a decision. But no matter what is behind this matter, the matter has developed to this point, so of course his best way is to solve most of the problems first. In addition, there are not a few things that Levi has to deal with in the next period of time. After all, judging from the current situation, the thing that Levi is thinking about most in his heart is of course how to do it. Only then can the confusion at hand be resolved. After much thought, he finally came up with a solution, which was to ask the people around him first. Advertisement. As long as the people around me know how to enter the Fishman Island, then I will naturally think of a solution, and I will calm down in a good mood when I think of this. It was under such circumstances that Levi followed closely and naturally his eyes fell on the passers-by on the roadside. He followed closely and casually pulled a passerby from the roadside, and the passerby looked at Levi. When I saw it on my body, I was obviously shocked. Of course he knew Levi, but before, he saw Levi standing here in a daze, thinking about what to do in his mind, but now he was suddenly pulled over by Levi, and naturally his whole body was shaking violently he started to tremble because he didn't know what he did wrong to be noticed by Levi. I want to ask you, do you know how to get to the Fishman Island? Advertisement. The man originally thought that Levi had something to trouble him, but he didn't expect that Levi suddenly asked such a question. He was stunned for a moment, but he quickly reacted at this time and came over to follow. He nodded quickly. How could I not know? The way to get to the Fishman Island is known to many people in the entire Sabayati archipelago, and the purpose of many people coming to this place is to get to the Fishman Island. After hearing Levi's question, the Man Alliance 2.1 gave the answer. 20 Levi nodded after hearing this. He raised his chin at the man again. Since you know, then hurry up tell me. Actually, if you want to go to the Fishman Island, the way is very simple. The best way is to find a place to coat yourself so that you can go directly to the seabed. 2. 288. Shaki. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. I understand what you mean. You mean to put a bubble on your body and you can move to the bottom of the sea, right? But if I want to find this bubble, where should I look for it? There is an old man on this island. He is located in the center of the island. There is a hillside there. You can see it at a glance when you go to that place, and then you can ask him to coat your body. The man explained to Levi seriously, and Levi was stunned for a moment after hearing this, but he soon laughed. Time passed little by little, and in the next period of time, Levi naturally didn't say much. Advertisement. However, he quickly reacted at this time, and followed what the man said, and then looked towards the center of the island. 
But after he moved closer to the island, he found the center of the island. At first glance, there was a cabin there, and around the cabin, if nothing else happened, it should be what Levi was looking for. Thing. However, under such circumstances, Levi's mood seemed a little strange during the next period of time, because for Levi, he suddenly remembered who the people living in those cabins were. It turns out that Shaki is actually in this place. I had never heard of him before and didn't expect that he had been hiding here. Levi frowned and sighed, and at the same time, other people around Levi looked at Levi strangely at this time. Their eyes fell on Levi, looking a little confused. Advertisement. Is there some powerful person hidden here? Why does it make you feel so nervous? You have never been like this before. Yamato's eyes fell on Levi, and he seemed a little confused in his eyes, because until now, he had not been in contact with Levi for too short, but under such circumstances, he but until now, I have never seen Levi lose his composure. But this time, no matter how you look at Levi, he seems a little nervous, and under such circumstances, it can be seen from the expression on his face that he obviously feels a little nervous, which naturally makes people feel a little confused. But Levi sighed at this time and didn't say anything more. The person who lives here is a legend, so I didn't expect to appear in this place. I have met him once before, but I am still a little surprised to see him here today. Advertisement. When Levi mentioned this place, he sighed leisurely, and at the same time, it could be seen from Yamato's face that he was obviously very curious about who the legendary figure Levi was talking about was. Under such circumstances, the group of people had arrived at the door of the small wooden house. At the same time, Levi seemed a little nervous, but he still reached out and knocked on the door. Who? A woman's voice came out of the room, followed by the people present who were stunned for a moment, and saw someone opening the door. What appeared in everyone's sight was a woman. 289. Shaki's thanks. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Levi couldn't help but be stunned for a moment. He didn't expect that a woman would appear in the room of the legendary figure. At the same time, everyone present looked at the woman in confusion, and then looking back, looking at what Levi just said on Levi's face, I couldn't help but feel a little confused. Is that the legendary figure you mentioned just now? If it is him, I always think it's a little too strange, right? Everyone present was obviously a little confused. The woman in front of them also seemed to have a very gentle personality. No matter how you looked at it, she didn't look like a legendary figure. But at this moment, the woman suddenly laughed, then looked towards Levi, and then asked, Excuse me, what can I do for you? Advertisement. The purpose of my coming here is, of course, to hope that I can find a way to enter the deep sea. Levi said to the woman in front of him seriously, followed him, and began to ask the woman again. Although everyone else present still felt a little confused, Levi knew very well that this was not what he wanted. Looking for someone. The woman jumped up when she heard what Levi said, and then asked slowly, you are here to find Rayleigh, right, backquote. My name is Shaki, but Rayleigh is in the room now. Come and come with me. As Shaki said this, he turned around and opened the house completely. At this moment, everyone present was stunned, because what appeared in front of them was not a person at all, but a mermaid. Advertisement. His upper body looks like a human being, but his lower body is completely like the tail of a fish, and it is the bubble suspended on top of a bubble, dragging his body suspended in midair. Under such circumstances, several people around Levi were stunned for a moment. They did not expect that this was actually a fish man. Yes, under such circumstances, they all showed doubtful expressions because under normal circumstances, it would be very difficult for fishmen to survive in the Sabayati archipelago. Because there are many human traffickers on this island, they have always been keeping an eye on the fishmen who may appear from the bottom of the sea and come to the outside world at any time. Once they discover that a fishman appears, they will immediately kill all of them. Catch him. After everyone entered the room, Shaki looked at Levi with some embarrassment. Advertisement. His eyes fell on Levi, and then after a moment of hesitation, he then said to Levi, I'm sorry, Rayleigh is not at home right now. I asked him to come back in a while. It's okay, we're not particularly anxious. I just want to know where Rayleigh is now. He should have gone to the casino to gamble. We haven't had any income in recent days, so he can only rely on gambling in the casino to exchange for some money for cigarettes and alcohol. It was also under such circumstances that the expression on his face soon became a little surprised, because the two women beside Levi never thought that the legendary figure Levi mentioned was actually a gambler ghost. But Levi was not surprised by this. After all, those big shots often have some strange habits. 290. Unintentional Acts of Kindness. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. But at this moment, Shaki suddenly laughed, his eyes fell on Levi, and at this moment he said to Levi unhurriedly, speaking of which, I actually want to thank you. Actually, I have always wanted to thank you before, but I never found the opportunity. Now that I finally meet you, I still want to apologize to you in person. Levi was just stunned for a moment after hearing what Shaki said. He never thought that Shaki would apologize to him, and in his impression, there was no intersection between him and Shaki. Advertisement. But now Shaki suddenly came to thank him, which made the expression on Levi's face become a little weird, but at this moment Shaki burst out laughing. 783 inches The main thing I want to thank you for is that you saved all of us on the Fishmen Island, because once we appeared on the sea, on the sea or even on the land, we were likely to become hardworking people. Catch him. 
But now we don't have to worry about these problems, because now we no longer have anyone trying to catch us. Hearing this, Levi was stunned for a moment. He had no contact with the Fishman Island in the past. Why would Shaki in front of him suddenly say such a thing to him? Just when Levi was still feeling doubtful in his heart, Shaki followed and laughed. F. Advertisement. Are you surprised, but what I want to tell you is that if it weren't for you to destroy the Celestial Dragons, we would definitely not have such a good life. Although we, the Mermaid Clan, were always targeted by many people in the past, and were likely to be caught and turned into pets or slaves, but looking at the current situation, what we are encountering now is not the same. It was so worrying before. After hearing Shaki's words, Levi understood what Shaki wanted to express at that moment. In the past, most of those who bought mermaids as slaves were celestial dragons, and those celestial dragons have now been completely wiped out in Levi's hands. Even if there are some caught fish, they can't dig them out again. What a big wave. And under such circumstances, since those celestial dragons no longer exist, it makes no sense for many people to capture the mermaids and turn them into slaves, and the combat effectiveness of those mermaids themselves is not weak. Advertisement. In the past, after they caught a mermaid, they could get a lot of benefits from this mermaid, so under such circumstances, those mermaids can have a meaningful role at this time. But now if they want to capture the mermaids, they will also have to face the counterattack of the mermaid clan as before. In this case, in fact, there were already many people in the past, because of this dead zone, just because of the capture the prophets brought by mermaids are really terrifying. So for many people, they have always been very excited, and they also like to do such a thing. But looking at the current situation, there is no need for them to continue to take such a big risk to do such a thing for a while. Because the risks involved in doing so are actually too great. 291. The Disappeared Human Trafficker. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. It is precisely because of this that their entire group has now returned to a relatively safe situation, and for many people, it is precisely because of Levi's existence that they can be protected. It is also under such circumstances that their current mood naturally quickly became a little weird. As time passed little by little, in the next period of time, for many people, they every day a person's mood is always a little helpless. Advertisement. This matter has spread to the Fishman Island, so now in the Fishman Island, although you have never been there, you already have many fans, so I think if you go this time, you should it's a good experience. After hearing this, Levi was stunned for a moment, but he quickly raised his head again, smiled slightly at this time, and then said unhurriedly, if things are really like this if so, that would be a good choice for me, so how should I go to the Fishman Island next? Levi asked the Shaki in front of him seriously. After hearing what Levi said, Twenty Shaki was obviously stunned for a moment. His eyes fell on Levi, and then he looked at Levi, naturally felt some doubts. I think Rayleigh will be back soon. If Rayleigh comes back, then you can ask him to help, but you will definitely not be able to enter the deep sea with your body. It will be too dangerous. When Shaki said this, he thought for a moment, and then asked Levi, by the way, do you have a boat around you? If you have a boat, I think maybe you want to go to the deep sea. What a difficult question. Advertisement. Levi himself was stunned for a moment, but followed him closely and quickly raised his head again. Although we don't have a ship, we do have a huge palace, and it can also fly. But we can't just use the palace to enter the deep sea. How about this? I will prepare another ship later, and then this one the ship can be placed in our palace, and the ship we made can go into the deep sea. When Levi said this, Shaki also nodded. Anyway, it was his own business to decide which means of transportation he wanted to take, and unexpectedly, he seemed a little excited at this time. Please give me flowers. His previous ship was the legendary Pluton, so when he owned that ship in that place, its combat effectiveness was very terrifying, but now the ship has disappeared. Advertisement. Zero. Point zero. Now that he has overthrown the world government, his sincerity is no longer limited to the sea. He can also control the entire world, including the continents in the four seas of east, west, north and south. Under such circumstances, he actually had a different feeling for the sea in his heart. After all, he was a marine when he was first born, and as he came into contact with more and more people, he came into contact with more and more people. Some people are also pirate marines. Under such circumstances, he naturally hoped to stay in the sea like this. Thinking of this, he nodded quietly after a while. I don't know what you are thinking about right now, but for me, this matter is not as troublesome as I thought. 292. Someone attacked. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Levi's eyes fell on everyone, followed by his eyes, and soon became much calmer at this time. Since Shaki has said this, of course this matter is nothing to Levi, so he left the cabin again in the next period of time and found the golden lion again. According to his idea, in the next period of time, he, 0 20 inches will build a spaceship that can float in midair, and such a thing is not troublesome for golden lion. But when Levi comes to find golden lion now, of course he has to come to the most prosperous island in the entire Sabayati archipelago, and the entire Sabayati archipelago is not actually an entire island. Advertisement. The reason why this place is called an archipelago is because there are many islands scattered here, and there are not a few of them. Or to put it in a more rigorous way, this is not actually an island, or it is not a naturally occurring island, but because there is a strange plant called mangrove growing around it. This kind of trees can grow in water and take root in seawater. 
This is a very strange ability. In addition, they can emit many bubbles, so there is Sabayati Archipelago. Take a look at the surrounding area. Go where there are many bubbles. Under such circumstances, when these mangroves grow larger and larger, tubers will grow on their lower parts, and the purpose of these places is to support them on the water surface. Above, allowing the entire tree to float on the water. Advertisement. So every mangrove here is equivalent to an island. There are countless mangroves growing here, so there are also many small islands here. Under such circumstances, Levi's eyes fell on the golden lion. His current location is the most prosperous island in the entire Sabayati archipelago. There are many shopping malls here, and there are also many tourists. Often. It is precisely because of this that in the following period of time, Levi's eyes fell on everyone, and then, at this time, he became a little emotional. The last time he came to this place, he was still an ordinary marine, but he didn't expect that in a blink of an eye, there would be such a huge difference between him and himself back then. Advertisement. At this moment, someone suddenly rushed out from the crowd. That person was holding a gun in his hand, and the others rushed out extremely quickly. This made Levi stunned for a moment, and he subconsciously turned his head towards the man looked over, and at this moment he suddenly heard a roar. You are Levi, right? I have never had the chance to see you before I decided to kill you today, but I finally saw you today. The man held a 0.8 machine gun in his hand and said angrily to Levi. Levi was stunned for a moment after hearing this. Hearing what the man meant, it seemed that he had a grudge against him. And at this moment, the machine gun in the man's hand was also aimed at Levi, followed by a series of clicking sounds, and a large number of bullets flew towards Levi from midair at this time, firing. Levi was stunned at this moment. 293. The Nightmare Around Celestial Dragons. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. This sudden change made Levi stun for a moment, but at this moment, a large number of bullets were shot out in the man's hands. Seeing that the bullets were about to fall on Levi, Levi was not afraid at all. The meaning of. I saw that his palm was lifted up in such a leisurely manner, and he pressed it down from top to bottom. The bullets that followed him all fell steadily to the ground at this moment. Advertisement. At this time, the man did not expect that his machine gun had no effect on Levi, but he was also a little crazy at this time, so he simply threw away the machine gun in his hand and followed 21 suddenly he pulled out a long knife from his waist and rushed towards Levi. Under such circumstances, Levi couldn't help but frown slightly when he looked at him, but he didn't seem to be afraid at all. Seeing that the man was about to come to Levi, and under such circumstances, Levi naturally raised his palm at this time and followed the long knife in the man's hand towards Levi, 20 Levi stretched out two fingers at this moment and clamped the blade lightly. Naturally, the man subconsciously wanted to continue to use force, but then he realized that the blade was clamped by Levi's two fingers. He couldn't move at all. If he couldn't move further, his face suddenly turned pale and he hurriedly moved. Under such circumstances, he quickly wanted to retreat and pull out the blade again, but at this moment he found that no matter whether he was advancing or retreating, there was no way to move at all. Advertisement. Under such circumstances, for him, such things obviously made him feel a little desperate. That is to say, under such circumstances, his face was naturally filled with pain, but Levi frowned when he looked at him. He frowned. Because he couldn't figure out who the man in front of him was. In his impression, he had never seen such a person before. It turned out to be like this. Looking at the other party's appearance, he was full of hatred towards himself. So why did the other party come to trouble him? Levi couldn't figure it out. However, his eyes fell on the man, and at this time he searched the memory in the other man's mind, which made him suddenly stunned. Because it was only then that he discovered that in the memory of the man in front of him, a black shadow appeared beside him at some point. That black shadow was like a nightmare, following him like a shadow. Advertisement. And after that nightmare followed him, it would keep repeating similar words to 280 in his ears, which probably meant that he would cause trouble for him and even risk his life to avenge him. As for the identity of the man in front of me, of course it was from the previous time. Because of Levi's appearance, it was said that those celestial dragons had lost their favorable living conditions. These celestial dragons have lived a very difficult life because of Levi, so in their hearts, they are full of hatred for Levi. Coupled with the appearance of these nightmares, their lives naturally became more painful day by day, but all this pain was trapped in Levi's body. 294. Remains of I am. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Under such circumstances, they naturally learned the news that they would appear nearby after several rounds of inquiries, so they simply came here with weapons to cause trouble in the future. Under such circumstances, after Levi learned the news, he naturally sighed helplessly, but at the same time, he also became much more wary. Advertisement. If things are really like this, then we can get some judgment based on the memory in the man's mind. If nothing else happens, then the dream that appears around this man is very likely to be the same as before. The missing I am has a lot of connections. Moreover, the auras emanating from those nightmares had very similar characteristics to that I am, so Levi immediately became alert at this time. If things are really as I imagined, it means that the scene that I have completely eliminated before has reappeared in this world. This thing is like a ghost that never leaves, all the time. Surround yourself all the time. That is to say, under such circumstances, he would naturally follow closely. At this time, he felt a little confused. If he said when Yima would reappear next to him, 
then he would definitely feel very nervous at that time. Irritable. Although he had eliminated him once before, that time also cost Levi a lot, so if I am appears again this time, Levi will definitely not want it. Advertisement. But those nightmares seem to appear out of thin air around these celestial dragons, so even if Levi wanted to find clues about I am from their memories, he couldn't find any clues. Thinking of this, Levi naturally felt a little depressed. Things have reached this point, even if he wants to do something, there is nothing he can do. If these nightmares really have something to do with I am, then this matter will be troublesome, because if that happens, it means that I am has not been completely solved by you, or that I'm's body has not been completely solved yet. A new distraction was dispatched. It is precisely because of this that during the following period, Levi naturally felt very strange in his heart, but after much deliberation, he finally could only come up with a way to solve this problem. One thing, that is, going to the clues about I am that Sister Luo left back then. If something could be discovered from the clues Roger left back then, then naturally, he would be able to use this clue to find some traces of I am. Advertisement. Of course, if he really can't find it, then Levi can only stay very vigilant, and then find ways to find some clues about Yi, Zhao Hao, Mu at any time. The amount of this project will definitely become much larger. F. However, Levi's mood did not feel too heavy because of this, because although the enemy was hiding in the dark, I knew that the other party was in the dark now and planned to plot against me at any time. But Levi was not afraid. I. Because although the other party is hidden in the darkness, he is at most a grasshopper in the darkness. Is there anyone who is afraid of a grasshopper hiding in the darkness? 295. Meeting Rayleigh. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. It is precisely because of this that for Levi, such things certainly made him feel indifferent, so he quickly regained his calm mood at this time. Time passed little by little, and in the next period of time, he let go of the man in front of him again, but from this man's mouth, he could get some clues, if nothing unexpected happened, their celestial dragons have gathered together secretly. Under such a premise, and with the existence of these nightmares around them, it will naturally lead to them gradually being able to condense into a force. So Levi also recorded this matter in his heart. After returning from the Fishman Island this time, he can naturally deal with this matter. 110 of course, every next step is to wait and see what happens. In fact, for Levi, on the one hand, he is now ready to deal with I am, who may appear, on the other hand, what he has experienced is actually no different from traveling. Advertisement. So under such circumstances, time passed little by little. Now that Levi had obtained such a clue, of course the next thing he had to do was to go to the Fishman area first. But to go to the Fishman Island, you need to prepare a boat first, and then you can make a boat by sinking the boat to the bottom of the sea. It is certainly not a trouble for Levi, or to be precise, for Golden Lion not too much trouble. There is no one on the Red Line today. In the past, if someone wanted to board the Red Line, on the one hand, it was because they were not strong enough, so it was difficult to board. On the other hand, there are originally some roads on the Red Line. However, under this premise, those who want to board the Red Line have no way to board it through these roads, because these roads are originally reserved for Celestial Dragons. Of. Advertisement. But now that Celestial Dragons has completely become history, of course it doesn't matter to Levi, so under the leadership of Levi, the group of them also came to the top of the Red Line, CBDI, again. Immediately following Golden Lion stood here, he raised his hands and recalled for a moment, and then followed by the land under their feet, which immediately changed at this moment. Large tracts of land were deformed at this time, and at the same time, in the eyes of everyone around them, they could clearly see that the surrounding land gradually turned into a ship as Levi said. The ship slowly fell downwards under the control of Golden Lion, and at this time Levi returned to the cabin where Shaki was before. Advertisement. Only when Levi came to the cabin where Shaki was located again, he discovered that there was another old man in the cabin. The old man was sitting at the table at this time, and was drinking with a wine bottle in his hand. Under such circumstances, when he noticed someone coming in from outside the door, he naturally turned around at this time, and his eyes fell on Levi's body, but laughed at this time. I just heard Shaki say that a very interesting young man came here, but I didn't expect it to be you. The old man burst into laughter when he said this. 296. Coding. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. After Levi heard what the old man said, he also laughed loudly. But beside Levi, both Yamato and Robin looked at the old man in front of them strangely at the same time. However, Yamato was younger and seemed to have no impression of the old man. However, after Wuhan saw the old man, his pupils suddenly tightened at this moment and he immediately recognized his identity. You are the legendary Pluton Rayleigh. It was said that you were the deputy of Roger, the Pirate King. I didn't expect that you disappeared after Roger's death. You have been working as a shipwright here for so many years. Advertisement. When he said this, it was obvious from the look on his face that he recognized Rayleigh's identity, and Rayleigh naturally stood up again here. Didn't you see it, little girl? I am a little surprised that you can recognize my identity. Seven inches. Seven but what is the purpose of coming to this place? Do you want to go to the Fishman Island? Yes, senior, we have prepared a boat. We are also planning to go to the Fishman Island to have a look in the next period of time, so we hope senior can help us coat our boat. When he said this, Rayleigh naturally stood up immediately and his eyes fell on Levi. 
Under Levi's leadership, the two of them came to the ship that Levi had just built. But when Rayleigh saw the ship clearly, he was stunned for a moment, because he realized that the ship was made entirely of stone. Such a ship was very rare in this world. Advertisement. What a magical ship. I didn't expect to see such a scene one day. This is not surprising. The person who made him is an old friend of yours. I think you won't feel anything wrong after meeting him. When Levi said this, he pointed at the golden lion standing on the boat. After seeing the golden lion, Rayleigh was stunned for a moment and then suddenly realized. It turns out that golden lion made it for you. I didn't expect that after so many years, he is still alive in the world, but now he has become yours. Dot dot dot. Please give me flowers. But there is nothing strange about this teacher. Since things have developed to this point, then I will just coat your ship. Advertisement. Speaking of this place, and under such circumstances, Levi also nodded. In the next period of time, it is naturally Rayleigh's performance time. For Levi, the things Rayleigh did were of course very novel to him. Point zero. A group of people waited quietly on the edge of the ship. They didn't know how long it took. When the sun was about to set, they discovered that their entire ship had been wrapped in a huge bubble. Such an image certainly gives people a very strange feeling. Under such circumstances, the eyes of everyone present fell on this bubble, and they all felt very fresh at this time. Rayleigh also stood up at this time, pointed at the ship with a smile and said to everyone, then you can upload it first. As long as you master the use of this ship, you can reach any part of the ocean at will. Depth. Scoop. 297. Go to the deep sea. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. He mentioned this place, and at the same time, everyone present was a little surprised at this time, but since he has said so, of course everyone present will choose to believe it. Time passed little by little, and in the following period, the expression on his face quickly became much calmer, and to Levi, such a thing was nothing at all. 2, 4, 3. At the same time, Rayleigh on the other side was quickly ready. Since he had planned to help the Chinese add a layer of coating to the ship, of course he would do it seriously. Soon the coating was added, and following everyone, they discovered that the so-called coating was actually a huge bubble. This is a special sap of our Sabayati archipelago generation, because the main plant here is the mangrove, and these mangroves naturally secrete a sap that is very sticky, so it is if we use this juice to make bubbles, they can withstand huge pressure. Advertisement. When Rayleigh mentioned this place, Yin stepped forward curiously and reached out to poke the huge bubble. The bubbles have a strange elasticity. Even though they poke them a few times, they still give people a very good feeling. Of course, this was nothing to the people present. After a while, Kung Fu Levi's eyes fell on the bubble, and he also laughed at this time. The resilience of this bubble is stronger than I thought, but from this point of view, this bubble should still be able to help us a lot. Yamato looked at the bubble with excitement on his face. Under such circumstances, everyone present was naturally ready quickly. Advertisement. Time passed little by little, and in the following period, Levi naturally showed a calm expression. Now that everyone has a boat, the next step is to go to the ecology, but how to get there is a very important question. Under such circumstances, everyone naturally not only made preparations quickly in the next period of time. Under the control of the Golden Lion, the ship floated toward the sea. Under such circumstances, everyone quickly boarded the ship at this time. At the same time, Rayleigh on the other side looked at the people here and couldn't help but laugh. Advertisement. The firepower of this group of young people is stronger than I thought. It seems that there should be someone who can help us inherit the aspirations left by our group leader back then. Rayleigh said this, and behind Rayleigh, Shaki also started laughing. These young people have reached a height that we have not reached since 5.6, but do you think they can go to a higher place? Shaki started laughing as he said this. After hearing Shaki's question, Rayleigh naturally laughed at this time. Who knows, I can't see through him even now, let alone in the future. No one knows what he will be like in the future. What he will become one day. 298. Monster in the Deep Sea. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Everyone here is discussing Levi's future, while others on the other side have begun to board the ship. At the same time, under the control of Golden Lion, the ship is slowly falling towards the sea. Go down. Levi stood on the bow of the boat and looked forward. He was looking forward to what kind of scene he could see next in this sea. At the same time, the ship had gradually submerged into the deep sea. For the people present, she had never seen such a scene. Although these people among them had spent most of their lives in contact with the sea, they could they just live on the surface of the sea. It was also under such circumstances that they had never seen what the deep sea looked like before, but now they laughed at this time. Time passed little by little, and in the following period, each of them became arrogant and excited at this time, because they could already see with their own eyes the sea and the large number of fish in this place. Travel around. Advertisement. In front of everyone's sight, these fish can be clearly seen wandering around in the sea water, and in a short time they have appeared in everyone's sight. Immediately after the leisurely time passed, under such circumstances, the ship was slowly sinking, and the number of fish in everyone's sight became more and more. Look at these fish, they look so beautiful, they're even sharks. Yamato stretched out his hand and pointed at a huge shark in front of him, followed closely, and said excitedly, but under such circumstances, everyone else present seemed very calm. After all, for them, such a shark is actually not that big. 
What kind of? But as time passed little by little, the ship slowly fell deeper and deeper below. Advertisement. Just now, they could clearly see the sea, because the sunlight in the sky had penetrated the sea surface and projected into the depths of the ocean. Everyone could also look around the sea and see I can clearly see the scene here. However, as time passed little by little, the surrounding light gradually became dimmer. Because the sunlight in the sky has been filtered by a large amount of seawater at this time, there is not much left at this time. It is also under such circumstances that for the people in this sea, their eyes fall on the surrounding sea water, and then they can clearly see the scene in this sea water, which is already quietly moving. There have been some changes. As the light gradually decreases, the various marine plants and the so-called seaweed here have disappeared. The surrounding 980 sea water has become clearer, but as the saying goes, if the water is clear, there will be no fish, so there are no fish here. It's also becoming less and less. Advertisement. As time goes by, for many people, the sea water here feels very desolate. Everyone looked into the sea water and saw that the scene in the sea water became empty. This place is not as beautiful as before. Could it be said that there really is an entire race existing in this lifeless deep sea? Beside Levi, Yamato said with some emotion. The scene in front of you gave people a lifeless scene. 299. The Terrifying Sea Kings. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. There may not be very many creatures in such a place, but those who can live in such a place are, after all, very terrifying monsters. Levi laughed leisurely after saying this. Under such circumstances, the two little girls next to Levi were obviously stunned for a moment. They didn't quite understand what Levi wanted to express, but Levi also scratched his head at this time. You should be prepared for the next moment, because I am not sure. When we enter the deep sea later, we may encounter some strange monsters there, so you must be mentally prepared. Advertisement. When Levi said this, several young girls present shrank their necks subconsciously. It could be seen from their expressions that they were very nervous now, and some even couldn't figure out what would happen next. Under such circumstances, in the next period of time, their entire ship also began to continue to descend deeper into the sea. So time passed little by little, and not long after, everyone discovered some strange sights around the sea. For example, at a glance in this sea, you can even clearly see that there seem to be black shadows coming from the distance, and the appearance of these shadows naturally makes the people on the ship become confused at this time. Some of them became nervous, because looking at the size of those black shadows, they were all very huge. And under such circumstances, at this moment, one of the black shadows in the early Yuan dynasty suddenly came towards this side, and everyone present was stunned for a moment. Advertisement. But when they thought of this, although everyone present was a little panicked, Levi immediately responded at this moment. He raised his palm, and then pressed it down gently. At this moment, a strong pressure pressed on the ship, causing the entire ship to fall rapidly downwards. For the people on this ship, they only felt their feet shaking at this moment and then saw themselves falling downwards at a rapid speed. And under such circumstances, the huge black shadow that had just rushed towards them with the knife also passed over everyone's heads at this moment. Only then did they raise their heads and see clearly the true face of the huge monster. Only then did they realize that the huge monster above them looked like a very terrifying monster at first glance advertisement. And under such circumstances, for them, such a monster naturally makes them feel frightened. Time passed little by little, and in the following period, the expressions on each of their faces became a little weird. For them, such a thing was of course a shock. But at this moment, the people present discovered that what was happening here was actually very strange. Because in the darkness in the distance, at a glance, you can also see many monsters existing there. And under such circumstances, to them, the feeling of those monsters is indeed very scary. 300. The Fish Men Island. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. But no matter what, although these monsters looked very scary, they actually did not pose any threat to them, so for the people on this ship, they did not feel very scared. Time passed little by little. In the next period of time, everyone naturally controlled the entire ship and began to use it, descending at a faster speed. After all, no one knew what was hidden in this dark deep sea. Such a monster. The Fishmen Island they mainly went to this time is located deep in the sea, about 10,000 meters away. Basically no other creatures can survive in this place, but the mermaids can still survive in this place. Local survival is a miracle in itself. Advertisement. Under such circumstances, they naturally had to go to the Fishmen Island next, but for the people on this ship, each of them seemed a little excited. Gradually, the ship was getting closer and closer to the depths of the sea. Under such circumstances, the people on the ship gradually discovered a strange scene below, that is, there was light in that place. And under such circumstances, for the people on this ship, each of them also felt a little surprised. Time passed bit by bit, CBCE, and the people on this ship soon discovered that something was wrong. Advertisement. Because they discovered that it turned out to be an island, and this island was completely wrapped in a huge bubble. In this bubble, the scene there at first glance was actually no different from a human city. After seeing this island, everyone present naturally became excited, because after seeing this island, they recognized it almost immediately. If nothing else, then in this bubble the scene inside gave people the impression that it should be the fishman island they were looking for before. So under such circumstances, people were quickly prepared. The boat slowly approached the Fishmen Island. 
On the other side, the people on the boat came to the Fishmen Island leisurely. Edge. The ship slowly entered the Fishmen Island. At this moment, many people in the Fishmen Island came closer to look at them. They seemed to be very wary of the new people here. Advertisement. In fact, although the best way to reach the second half of the Grand Line is to coat the ship, cross the seabed, and then go to the other side, it does not necessarily have to go through the Fishmen Island. Because on this piece of red line, except for the gap on the Fishmen Island, there are also gaps in other places that you can get through. However, the existence of the Fishmen Island is of course a magical place for many people, so under such circumstances, for many people, each of them feels a little weird. Under such circumstances, their sudden appearance naturally made the people on the island a little nervous. But no matter what, in the next period of time, since they finally crossed this seabed and came to the Fishmen Island, of course they have nothing to be afraid of. 